hello. Yeah, that tag is a really good conversation starter, isn't it? Rum, hello! Welcome back to the crew! Flower. Thank you so much for three months! Thank you, thank you! For me? The flower is for me? I appreciate it, thank you. Sorry if I sound a little scummy today, I just ate and uh, 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 you know, you know what it's like. You ever eat and then you're just filled with phlegm afterwards? It's called acid reflux sweaty. <laughs> oh, good luck. Luis, I'm holy. And you didn't share? It was some good old fashioned bacon and eggs. I ain't sharing that. The milk voice. Don't call it. <laughs> Don't call it that. You made, you made me gag a little bit. Milk voice. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chad, I got my milk voice today. I just ate. Just took the whole gallon of milk. I got that milk voice right now. If you're confused why Chia has the Vera tech, ask your mom. Oh, ask your mom. Should have asked her last night. Oh, high five. I'm keeping the flower. I just wanted to show it. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I keep it too, it's a pretty flower. Working along to the voice of the captain. Nice morning. I'm glad I could get you some background noise to listen to as you slog through your work day. You're almost done. It's Thursday. Hello, Hemhoy. Wish I had that milk voice. I'm manifesting a switch. You too could have a milk voice. Just, you know, chuck a bunch of milk. Speaking of milk voice, I'm drinking some coffee. That always activates my milk voice a little bit. Ooh, is this... Different kind of beans? Maybe they're just fresher. It's different right now. Sometimes... Sometimes coffee is just especially good. Alice, I'm Holly. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll save you a seat on the alien spaceship. Good luck with work. You got this. You got this. I believe in you. You'll make it through. One seat for Planet Glee. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Who want you want You want a seat? Sorry. Uh, ship's taken. Yep. Yep. No more space left. No more space for Planet Gleeb. Oh yeah, you just missed the ship. Oh, what a shame. Hoy, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Hello. Hi, chat. Hi, crew. Hi, chat crew. Someone touches my beans. It can end in two ways. <laughs> oh, there's some tension with that statement. <laughs> Yeah, if someone touches my beans, I'm I'm touching their face with my fist. I'm touching my groin with my kneecap. No, their groin. Whoa, imagine! Imagine though, what if? What if the possibilities? <laughs> I swear I'm I'm not an alien, I'm just wearing the antenna today. Listen, shut up, I'm tired. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's been glorped! I'm trying to blend in. Be chill, chat. Be chill. I'm trying to blend in. I'm hoping the aliens will take me on board their ship. I've been practicing. Uh, I am ready to invade Earth, play floor, see more, blop, blooble, zeeb, see meeple. What do you think? Pretty convincing, right? You think they'll let me on board? Those humans won't know what's coming to them. Play floor. They'll let me on board, I'm sure. Whoa, there's an alien on my screen. See, I even tricked you. I even convinced you. What kind of contortionist nonsense is that? Um... I heard that, um, um, most people can't lick their, uh, elbow. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, though, not only can I lick my elbow, I can also kick my own groin with my own kneecap. 
If you can do that, I suggest you go see a doctor. I actually threw out my back this morning. <laughs> I woke up. And you know, sometimes when you sleep funny on your neck, you can kind of pull your neck. And it's just, it's really painful when that happens. That happened to my lower back. I didn't even know that that was possible. I like woke up and like my lower back slash like kind of under my left shoulder blade just started really hurting like I had pulled it. And I was like, whoa, this usually happens to my neck when I sleep weird. I must have been doing some sleep contortions. I must have been touching my groin to my kneecap during the night. <laughs> What's this? Kick zone balls. <laughs> Ugh, I shouldn't have done that. Ugh. Chia getting cancelled on Alien Twitter. <laughs> no way, no. No, my, my, my Gleek points. Oh, I worked so hard to obtain all those. Oh, hey, Moe, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome. It's your EB Gleeby asses in here. It's 7.99 AM, you don't want to miss the Earth Invasion. I've already got my ticket. I pulled my neck and my head came up. Am I safe? <laughs> um, uh... That's horrifying, for one. I hope you can... I hope you don't put it back on backwards. I used to do that to Barbie dolls. I pulled their heads off. In my defense, it was super fun, and if they didn't want me to pull off a Barbie's head, they shouldn't have made them so, like, easy to do. How is your day going? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I got milk voice. I got milk voice. Other than that, my day's going well. I had a freaky nightmare, so I'm on edge. I've 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 been having I've been having strange dreams since the eclipse. This isn't me setting up an ARG, this is just this is facts. I've just been having some weird dreams the past couple of nights. And some weird sleep patterns as a result. Oh, so I threw out my back yesterday night. <laughs> I'm just lying there. It's a skill. It's a skill. When you get older, your body betrays you. Man, maybe I am old. I... I, I was telling you, actually, yesterday that I was, I was talking to some compatriots, some fellow students, some classmates about uh, Pokemon, and they're the generations they grew up with were the Omega, Sapphire, and Ruby generation, and I'm there like, I grew up with the original one. And I crungled up. I aged 20 billion years. Anyways, I hope your day is going well. I hope you're having a good day. We having a nice chill day. Just trying to mind flood me to do another Zatsudan, and I do want to watch more Germa clips, but I don't know. I feel bad doing Zatsudans. Like not bad, but like I don't feel like I am. Maybe it's the workaholic in me, but like I don't feel like I'm doing enough. Jeremy's retired. He's not retired yet. He's retiring at the end of the year. Don't say that. Life is empty. Don't say- He's not gone yet. He's not- He's still streaming. He's still streaming. Shut up. Shut your whore mouth. He's still streaming. I think this is what has uh, started the Northern Line Awakening that has happened throughout the world. For context, I've been watching Northern Line since he was like- uh, He used to- I think he still talks about his age. He's like, what, 35 now? I watched him since he was like 24, 25. So like, wow, um, probably a decade now? So now that everyone's like, yeah, I love Northern Line, I'm like, <laughs> I'm already there. What was the news for nice skin when you were born? Is that what kids ask each other nowadays? <laughs> Stage one denial. <laughs> I'm through my denial. Stage, I'm at, I'm at stage two. What is that? Is that grief? <laughs> uh, is it anger? Sorry. Sorry, I got, I got milk voice. I got milk voice. You're gonna have to forgive me. I ate breakfast and, well, I guess it's more of a brunch. I got milk voice. 
Wait, did he actually say he was retiring or is that a joke? That, um, I'm so sorry you had to hear it here. Wow. Um, yeah, no, he's actually retiring, like a real retirement. He's gonna go behind the scenes. He doesn't want the spotlight anymore. Which is fair. He's had a good run. Time to take Ol' Yeller out back. <laughs> Salty sea dog ham hoy, Prussian ham boy. Sprinkle and pause. Hello. To his anger? Can't wait for bargaining. Yeah, bargaining is always a fun stage. Okay, so I should really be angry. I don't think I'll ever be angry about my lost youth though. Like, I have told you before, chat, I'm super excited to truly embrace Hagdom. Aging is a privilege, and I can't wait to be such an old coot. I'm already halfway there. Dairy built streamer. I did drink dairy today, how could you tell? It does that to my voice, it makes it all crusty and flimmy, it's weird. What's crazy about Jerma? I had no idea. Wait, so there's more of you finding out from my stupid little channel that Jerma's retiring? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He's still streaming. I think he's planned for the end of the year. I have a chance to take up the mantle. I don't know, those are some big clown shoes to fill. <laughs> I don't know if I can fill them. I've got average size <clears throat> feet. Industrial grade copium, I respect it. What do you mean? That's not copium at all. Aging is a privilege. I can't wait to be wrinkly. I'm looking forward to it. Wrinkles tell a story as well. Like, you ever look at an old person and you see all their smile lines and you go, this person has smiled a lot in their life. That's, I don't know, there's something very profound and beautiful about that. I've been watching German since his TF2 vids were posted. Oh my goodness, an old head over here. They were posted on the Face Punch forums. Oh my god, you are making me you're making me age right now, right in front of you, right before your eyes. <laughs> would you watch Hag Chia for 20 years? Yeah, would you still love me if I was a wrinkly old hag? <laughs> Chad's like we already do. <laughs> Shut up! So I haven't watched a single Jerma stream. Well, pause. Now that uh, now that Jerma's retiring, maybe maybe you don't have to. I thought that I could get away with never watching Jerma and just osmosing knowledge. Please give us the Jerma bits we need to live, streamer. Um, I uh, look at me, look at me. Uh, let me pull out a green screen and uh, d um, I will never be him. I will never be him. He's one of a kind, truly. Oh, people get to be rude as heck without... Uh, yeah, you get to be so rude without being ostracized from society. They just go, oh, you're old. I already started my rude arc, though, because I was being dropped off by a friend in front of... My friend, she parked in front of my neighbor's house, like, kind of in front of the driveway, just to drop me off. I was just getting out of the car. And the neighbor comes out of the house and starts yelling at me, going, like, you can't park in front of my driveway. And... Instead of actually engaging, I kind of just dismissively waved at her and walked away while she was yelling at me. I feel no remorse over that. I, I strongly believe if you are not parking, you should be able to drop someone off on the side of the road, even if it's in front of someone's driveway because you're only there for like two seconds. It's an empty street regardless of that. Anyways, I'm already in my old codger phase. I'm already rude as heck. Do the teacher noise or the mods bang you up? This just sounds like I'm doing like rodent noises, hamster noises. <laughs> That's my alien Gleep Florp speak, but it lets me speaking at like a normal pace. When you slow down alien Gleep Florp, it sounds like, um, Zemorb D Meeples, but like when you're speaking at a normal pace, it goes, you know? I mean, you wouldn't know, you're stupid little earthlings, but I'm telling you now, you're just gonna have to trust me. Wait, they're calling you what? <laughs> 
Alice and Roy. I I'm calling myself old and rude. Don't worry. These I'm self-proclaiming. <laughs> Come down from the mountains, we have the void at home. <gasps> Damon, Hamoy, hello. Yeah, the void at home stares back at you. She's just saying shit. Isn't that streaming in a nutshell? You yap? I'm yapping. I'm doing. I'm doing my job. You want me to stop yapping? I stop yapping. You're gonna be left alone with your thoughts, and then you're gonna type me an angry comment telling me I should yap more. And that isn't- you can't have both ways, really. She's so gleeby. Shut up! Only I can say I'm gleeby. Gleepy though! Yeah, yeah. I'm, only I can say that about me. Call the rat exterminator. She's just rat talking on screen. <laughs> I'm not rat talking! I am alien talking. I'm- I'm ham speaking. The day I yelled at a group of kids who had thrown away their trash, I realized I was the grumpy man I always wanted to be. I mean, if they were throwing away their trash not in a trash can, you had every right to yell at them. I'm gonna die on that hill. My neighbor had no right to yell at me because I was there for all of like 30 seconds just getting out of a vehicle to walk home. I don't think she recognized me though because I'm a recluse and I never go outside. So even though I knew she was the neighbor, I don't think she knew that I was a neighbor. Anyways, my dismissive wave and walk away while she was mid-sentence yelling at me was... I felt so powerful. That's power chat. Realizing you can do that to literally end a conversation you don't want to be in. Someone tries to talk to you on the side of the street and you know that they're soliciting. You just you wave and walk away. That's power. Hip young aliens trying to hang out and chill out. But, uh, Boomer Chia takes her property rights seriously. Yeah! I'm so property-pilled. I'm such a landlord. I, I definitely don't live in my parents' house and pay rent to my mom. I definitely... I'm so rent-pilled. I'm so property-taxed. I have a proper... I have 10 billion properties and they're all Airbnbs. They're all... 30 stories tall. I'm land maxing. I will be the lord of this land. I'm the rent sale estate maxing. <laughs> I had a friend who used to throw out everything. Um, out of his window while driving? <laughs> oh, Blake, uh, I hope he stuck his arm out one day and it just got caught on the telephone pole and he lost it. You don't deserve arms at that point. That may seem harsh, but it's true. What an escalation. You know what? I'll remove them for him. He is landlord coded. I just need $30 million to upstart. Any um, any landlords in chat want to help a fellow landlord out? Get a, get a start being a landlord? <laughs> any landlords in chat want to help a fellow wannabe landlord? Become a landlord? Um, I'll definitely pay you back in, uh, in land later. Guillotine this streamer. <laughs> whoa, okay, whoa, okay, so... A bit, a bit much, methinks. Oh, so Chia, it's fine if you talk about someone ripping their arm off and they throw trash out a window on a freeway, but I can't talk about guillotining you? <laughs> 1984? Putting an investment property on the throne. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it right now in case any perspective... Any landlords want to help a prospective landlord out, is what I should be saying. <clears throat> Sorry, milk voice. Milk voice. I got bacon belly right now. Sorry, only 29.9 million. Can't help you. Aw, oh, damn, you're like so poor in terms of landlord maxing. <laughs> Don't talk to me unless you're 100 billion dollars of worth of property. If if that's if you don't have anything but 100 billion dollars worth of property, don't even talk to me. <laughs> the uh what do you call them? 
The loan sharks are real here on this captain ship. They're real, and when I make you walk the plank, the loan sharks will get you. She is creating arguments against herself that Chad isn't saying. You're thinking it though, and I will act as the thought police and defend myself preemptively. Because that doesn't make someone seem guiltier. That definitely does not make someone guiltier. Milk voice gets us all. I think maybe we're all old and we all have acid reflux. Devil's advocate. Devil's advocate. Angel's advocate. <laughs> Let them eat cake. Heck yeah! Executioner's neck! I'm gonna start my <laughs> real estate empire on your bennies. Thank you. You too, Blue Boss! Yeah, we're starting out strong. You think they'll take Twitch bits? Probably if they're Twitch pilled enough. <laughs> that should be enough. That should be plenty. Asking my dad Bill Gates and my uncle Jeff Bezos to give me those billions of dollars. Whoa, I didn't know that Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates are even related. That's crazy. Imagine. I would not be surprised. I don't think I would even blink. I don't even think I would take it in if you told me that, like, Zuckerberg, Bezos, uh, Musky Wusky, Bill Gates were all related. Like, genetically. I, I wouldn't even blink. I wouldn't even- I wouldn't even be listening. My eyes would be glazed over. I'd be a trillion miles away in my mind thinking about something else. Probably cheese or something. This should help get into alien real estate. They are beginning <laughs> to be exploited. You're right. Thank you, Executioner Snag. I'm gonna use these biddies to get into the alien re real estate market. They're just- they don't even know what real estate is yet. I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna be like, okay, all this is now worth a trillion dollars and also I own it and you gotta pay me to be here. Stop noticing, it's bad for your health. I'm- what I'm saying is I'm not not noticing. <clears throat> All rich people are related, that means me and Chia are related. Why, because- do you live at home? <laughs> I mean, if we- if we go back far enough, Jet, like, we're related. Maybe... Maybe one of yous is actually my relative, you don't know. Not until we get the DNA test. I'm a VTuber after all. You don't know who I am. You don't know what I look like. Maybe we've met at family reunions in the past. Knowledge best kept secret. Best not to think about it. Also, get off my property. Okay, okay. I'm getting off your property. I'm getting onto my property. Yeah, release your genome right now and prove it. Prove we're not related. Show me your DNA. Forecast calls for alien probing and light winds. You know it! <clears throat> Let's- <coughs> Sorry, milk voice, milk voice. Let's go! I'm being extra gross today. If the aliens can't accept me at my disgustingest, they don't deserve me at my, um, bu uh, uh, bustingest. Let's go. She's my weird uncle who keeps wearing socks with sandals. It's a vibe. You just don't understand, man. It's a vibe. What the hell? What the... Oh, yeah! On last episode, I fell down a hill and I broke my neck and now we're back and I get a second chance at motherhood. Isn't that amazing? I'm gonna be so much more gentle, I promise. I promise. This time... Ah! Oh my god, Kerfer! Watch out, these alien eggs are volatile. Be careful, Kerfer. They're so volatile. Not enough space. Okay. Second chance in motherhood. I will not fuck it up. I promise. I will take such good care of them. Breaks neck. Just girl bossing. <laughs> you know this. I'm a girl failure. Uh, girl disaster. Just living life. 
trying to be a good, respectable alien mother. Five seconds in. Five seconds in. I know. I've been. I've been. I've been yoked with motherhood. Is that the word for it? Like when you put a burden on someone, you've yoked them. I don't have enough space for all these eggs. Oh yeah. I could hook one egg. I could hook one egg. Or... I dropped my batteries in the woods because, um... I guess that's not enough space. I'll drop that battery in the woods. I'll come back for the last egg. Hold. Perfect. You gotta- you gotta chill, little man. Okay. Okay, one last egg. I can't- I can't take you right now, my sweet baby. I'll be back soon. What the heck?! I still have my three other babies. I still have my three other babies. Come on, Carver. Let's get out of here. Didn't you hear after the last patch, all mushrooms are now considered wood? Since when? It's been like two days since we last played this. Oh, geez. We'll remember when mushrooms exploded. Yeah, just taking my egg on a walk. That was Manny exploding, but what happened to my eggs? They just... They vaporized. Maybe they melted. Maybe being exposed to the UV of the sun is not good for a soft alien eggshell. We really don't know how they work anatomically. I'm hoping that one will uncloak itself so I can experiment. Well, good thing I was able to rescue this one. <laughs> Taking my egg on a walk? Taking Kerfer on a walk? <laughs> this is a sight you see at a Walmart every time you go. And the microwave exploding lives rent free in my head. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm not the only one that was traumatized by that event. Melty Brood is a, ga a great game, don't you? Come on, Garfer. Don't you mean Melty Blood? The fighting game? Come on, Garfer. There we go. I'll give you a little boost. Come on, buddy! <laughs> Gerfer is a well-behaved creature. Maybe now he is. Okay. These eggs. I gotta put them somewhere where they won't explode. I'm not sure that this was a very good nest for them. How does the base get filled here each time I watch? It's the- it's- it's the same amount of filth. What are, you're making up filth. Maybe I should keep them in the basement. Come on, Carver. I'm not sure this room would be very safe for some hatchlings. Eh. Oh. I know. This seems like the perfect place for some alien eggs. What do you think? We'll have to be very gentle when we place them. I don't want any accidents. No more accidents. I have a second chance at this. Place. 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 Okay. And then very gently... Just... 
roll them in. Are they even gonna fit? These, these aliens give birth to some, some very large eggs. Oh, there we go. That fits. Keep happening. How does this keep happening? Are they pranking you with fake eggs? Maybe these ones haven't been fertilized yet. They were fakes. We don't we don't know. They might not have been fertilized. Maybe they explode when they're fertilized, like salmon eggs. I've eaten ostrich, it won't stop me from eating these eggs. Do, have you eaten an ostrich egg before? That seems like, as much as I would love to try eating an ostrich egg, I think that'd be too much food. That's just, that's a lot of egg. Like, egg is filling. On its own, like, that's so much protein. You gotta let Kerfer go, man. I'm just walking my Kerfer. What's wrong with just taking Kerfer for a while? Raz and Hoy! I'm more impressed that Kerfer didn't explode the eggs somehow. I know, Kerfer's a naughty, naughty little Nelly over here. That's why he's on a leash and not allowed to run free. Okay, we got one tape there. How many more tapes do I have? I guess I should be looking for signals, shouldn't I? She has a big smile on her face. Traipsing around while Kerfer is doing flips being dragged. <laughs> he loves it! Look! Woo! Uppies! Oh. Kerfer! Kerfer, we got a signal! Come on! Hmm. Must have been a false alarm, Kerfer. I'll do that to Winston. Not toss him up into the air really high, but I'll like toss him a little, a little bit onto the bed so he lands on all fours and then he'll run back to me and I'll, I'll give him a little toss again. It's cute. It's cute thinking about how animals like to have fun and play. Have you heard about the crow that would grab like a, was it a, it was some sort of piece of rubbish. It, it would take it to the top of a roof, a snowy roof, and it would use it to skateboard down and go sledding. Then it would go back up and then it would slide back down. Winston mid-flight, launching Winston into the ceiling. <laughs> Let's be honest, if he were to hit his head, it wouldn't change a dang thing. That being said, he has to save what little he's got. Or Gertrude. He's like one of those slippers with dust wipers for souls. One of those slippers with dust wipers for souls. <gasps> oh! I know. I know what you mean. I got it now. I got it. You see, I'm not old. Because I don't need to wear slippers. You know you've aged when you're offering people slippers. I would go to like uh, family friends' houses and they'd be like, Oh, Chia, aren't your feet cold? I'd be like, no, I'm in my 20s. Slippers rock. Well, I could never find slippers that would really fit me properly. So maybe I just haven't been slipper pilled. I haven't found these slippers. They're usually too big for me. I feel like I'm wearing clown shoes. I just prefer to go bare feet. What can I say? Prefer to raw dog it. She had branded sunflower slippers. I almost got the Pipkin Pippa Pippa slippers when I was at Yumicon. There was like one pair left when I was there, but they were too big for me. 
It's a one size fits all, but one size fits all slippers don't ever fit me. It's one size fits all if your feet are over seven. Uh, size seven. It's a one size fits all. Is my radio tower down? No, okay. They're just sending some false signals. Tiny feet Andy over here. My feet aren't even that... I'm looking down at them. They're not even that tiny. They're average. But one size fits all never fits the average size. It's usually just a bit... It's a bit bigger than that. How do you make a one size fits all footwear? I don't... You you can't. Yet they, they keep trying with slippers. They keep trying. It's never one size fits all. It's a one size fits some and then there's me and they're too big on me. And then they're flopping around and I'm tripping down the stairs because they're too big. It's a scan. It's made by big slipper to make you buy more slippers. I'm not small, I'm average, Captain Shea 2024. It's true though, it's true! <laughs> I'm not, and if people think I am, it's because of some strange optical illusion that happens when they look at me, because I seem... I don't know. Two, three, whoops, I missed it. I guess I got small dog energy, but I'm not, I'm not a small dog, I'm a medium-sized dog. I keep accidentally- I'm trying to hit the button. My guy is shifting because he's sleepy. I want to get a signal going though. Stop shifting! There we go. Then we can catch some zeds. Once this starts downloading. He's getting a bit loopy. Try that on for size. There we go. Okay, that's enough. Come on, Kerfer. Let's catch some Zeds. As we say in Canada, eh? A medium-sized dog then immediately makes a small dog noise. I did- <laughs> Did I let a bark out? Did I? I don't remember barking. Only Spagoon knows what aura you give off. <laughs> Six foot nine, Titan. Aura is what I give off. I'm average. Uh, seriously, I'm average size. I've had new chatters come in here and go, I bet you can't reach the top shelf, like just coming and swinging. Oh yeah, you're sitting there, no pants on, telling me I can't reach the top shelf. Meanwhile, you're not reaching the top shelf just because you don't want to stand up. Or a smelly. That's just, that's just the crew. That's just us. Oh, look, we can see Manny and Quinn right outside our house there. That's nice. Hi, Manny. Hi, Quinn. They're just hanging out. They're just chilling. That'd be so embarrassing. Uh, if, imagine if you accidentally, like, barked. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? Small or not, you have very throwable energy. People are unafraid to manhandle me, and I don't appreciate it. One time at a camp, I was... <laughs> okay, to be fair, I was being a little shit. I was, um... I was teasing one of the camp counselors, and he just picked me up, slung me over his shoulder, and just walked back to camp the whole time. It felt like the walk of shame, because I was just slung over his shoulder like a sack of potatoes. And I was like, yeah, I deserve this, but also, now everybody's looking at me. <laughs> yeah, I'm reaping what I've sowed by making fun of this guy. I, I, try, I tried to struggle. I tried to escape. I was just... <laughs> Eventually, I just gave up and I just hung in. <laughs> I was like, all right. I guess this is a free trip back. I don't gotta walk. 
Is the mandibles our probing side effects? Chat, if you're growing any bug parts, you might have to go see a doctor. I don't think that that's normal. Mandibles? Oh, sushi. Yummy, yum, yum, yumbly, yum, yum. Tiny confirm average confirmed optical illusion. I'm just light. I'm just kind of a slight. I'm a lean person. It creates a weird optical illusion where when people look at me, they go, that's a small person. I'm not, I'm average. My doctor says so. What the hell? There was something right outside. There was something like right... You see anything, Chet? Huh. Okay. Let me pull out my digital map here and... <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to take a swing. I guess it's on J. Like, right on... Yeah, it looks like it's right on J. I'll check it out, only because I'm curious. Hope I'm going the right way. Yeah, it's down here. This way. She's raging at technology. Yeah, technology. <laughs> this is what I do whenever I see anyone with their phone. I slap it out of their hands and I watch it shatter on the cement. I think we saw it. Let me turn up my volume so I don't miss any alien footsteps. But also so I get jump scared more easily. Yeah, it was like right here. I don't see anything. Oh, it must have been the wind. <laughs> It's like chasing any signal I get here, I'm like, huh. That was strange, anyways. Uh, fireflies! <coughs> you ever eat a firefly before? Sometimes when a fly passes by my face, I can't lie. I feel like just like trying to chomp it out of the air. Glowy in my tummy. <laughs> Looking at Chia IRL is like a magic eye picture. <laughs> An optical illusion. Sometimes I look like I'm eight feet. Sometimes I look like I'm two. Nobody can quite pinpoint. Just how tall I am. I could be 400 pounds, I could be five. To everyone, I appear differently. Really nice out tonight, though. If I was an alien, I'd want to be walking around in this nice night. Enjoying the weather, looking at the fireflies, munching on them. The fog, I love fog so much. There's something very comforting about being enveloped in fog. Uh... There's something different about these mannequins. No, it was just the lighting. Well, I guess that's it. I guess it's just... 
Just the mannequins out here tonight. I was hoping for some alien action. The fog. Oh! The drone's coming in. We got a delivery! Drone, the drone, the drone. There it goes. How are we doing on sleep? We're doing good on sleep. Hmm. Sochia would eat a wasp if she were hungry enough. I'd eat any protein, any moving protein, if I was hungry enough. Wasps bite back though, so wasps would be a low priority. If I had to do like a bug tier list of bugs I would eat if I was really hungry, um, juicy houseflies would be like near the top. I don't care what they've landed on at that point. Cockroaches would be like kind of low middle maybe because ew, yuck. Also, I think I have a slight allergy to them. Wasps would be at the very bottom because I don't want to get stung. But if I was hungry enough, I guess protein is protein. We got another signal up there. Which one should we investigate? Let's go investigate the top one. That's like almost directly... I'm hearing alien noises. You hear that? Scary alien noises. That's like between Romeo and Snake or whatever. Like right on the corner. Is it going- wait, is it moving? It's like right on the corner. Perhaps even over the fence. That'd be so cool. Let's go. Let's go look. Maybe we'll see the fire again. And now that I've figured out how to use my hook properly, I'll be able to um, actually get over the fence. This way. Four-wheeler time. If by four-wheeler you mean I'm running on all fours, I still haven't bought gas. <laughs> She runs like a madman. I need to buy gas. I need to buy gas. I'm just... It's so volatile. Whenever I order it, there's like a 50-50 that it will explode and I'll just be a little sad that that happened. It scares me, okay? It scares me. I think it's leaving. Well, let's hope we can catch it before it leaves. Wasps are doobie bottom. Yeah, they are, aren't they? They're so bottoms. <laughs> Itchy, I'm hungry. Everyone else in the collab <laughs> runs away. <laughs> I'm hungry. I wouldn't eat a bug if I had other opportunities to eat food, though. And I've got plenty. What the hell? The power lines are doing flips over here. It's kind of closer to Snake Sierra, Sierra. Yeah, I'm using Bolt over here. Running so fast. I wish I could run this fast IRL. Who's faster? You saying Bolt during the Olympics or Chia when she gets a weird blip on her radar? Oh, you know it's you know it's me. I just I'm humble though, so I, I don't I don't participate in in any sort of competitions like that. It was right at the corner. It was like right over here at this corner. We had an ATV. I'll ATV your your mouth. If you keep whinging about running, it's good for the legs. It's good for you. You see anything? At the very corner, it's definitely over the fence. I don't think I see anything though. Veronica, him hoy. Hope you're having a good day. Is this a spoopy game? It's a little spoopy. A little poopy and a little goopy all at the same time. 
I've been jump scared more than uh, by pine cones than by like any actual setup scares. So the spoopiness is definitely in your mind. Mother Nature can be scary, that's why I prefer to stay inside. Nothing. All right, well, I guess it's time to head back, and this time I won't trip down the hill and break my neck, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> to be him I'm okay. Yeah, we could check on our friends at the fire. That's exactly what I was thinking. I saw the fire and I was like, what if we go have a little alien break? How you doing, Dippy? Hope you're having a good day. I'm the alien. Oh my god, yeah, what if they're roasting marshmallows without me? I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna be so upset if they're roasting marshmallows and they didn't even invite me. I, as an earthling, I am... I, I, okay. I don't like marshmallows. But out of respect for the camping experience, whenever they're offered to me while I'm camping, I will roast a marshmallow, and I'll even eat it. I know, crazy. Just out of respect. You gotta respect the camping trip. Careful now. They're eating s'mores and yogurt without me? <laughs> we gotta pick up the pace. Save some yogurt for me! Good to see some manners. It's just manners. <laughs> Marshmallows are mid unless you're cooking them at a campsite. Then it becomes S tier. I, I respect that. I haven't had enough roasted marshmallows in my life, I think. It's hard to get them perfect. There are a lot of different uh, marshmallow roasting styles I've witnessed throughout my years as a fairly avid camper when I was younger. Some people would just burn it and then take off the outer layer that had been burned and then eat the goopy stuff inside. Some people would have patience and just get that perfect golden brown toast. Some people liked a little bit of char. Some people would just eat the marshmallows right out of the bags, those psychopaths. Marshmallows are so artificial. If someone told me they were some impurity filtered out of crude oil, I'd believe it. I'd believe it, and that still the fucked up part would be that still wouldn't stop me from eating them. <gasps> Nolenka! Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were a marshmallow. Good? Are you alright? Don't ask that chat if they're alright. They're fine. They loved it. <laughs> the marshmallow personality test. What does that tell you? What, what does your marshmallow say about you? Oh, you weren't ready for tongue? <laughs> it's nice that the campsite's so close to the transformer. I don't get to push the button. 
My marshmallow roasting technique is I try to go for a golden brown, but I inevitably get distracted and end up by burning one side a little bit too much and having to either just uh, live with it or pull it off. Pull off the marshmallow foreskin. I try for the golden brown though, I really do. And when it happens, it's really, it's beautiful, it's profound. <laughs> what? What did- what's wrong? Great band name. <laughs> well, I, I'm copyrighted it already. Oh! Yogurt! What the heck? What the heck? What have they been doing in here? Wait, what's- Is this food? Ah. Is this food? They've been building. They're building a little treehouse. Isn't that so cute? Aren't they just like us? Don't call it that. <laughs> Do you prefer your marshmallows to be... <laughs> I can't say that. The mods, I can feel them. I can feel them. They want to leave so bad. What the heck? What is this? I'm trying to use it. Can't collect object. Can't grab it. Ow! Is this some kind of alien space technology? What do you think it is? There's a poster in the back of the house. I already grabbed it. Do not worry. I got the free poster. Alien joke gum packet. <laughs> Pack of shrimp? I can't eat it though. It, it's... It's not a pack of shrimp. It's, it's haunted. Or something. <laughs> well, I'm glad that our little buddies are doing well. That's so nice. That's so great. How do we find our way back again? I think it was downhill this way. Tell me a shrimp packed this. Is that what you're saying? Maybe if you sleep there, they will give you a little kiss. Okay, I was gonna go home, but now... You've implanted the idea in my brain that an alien's gonna smooch me. I gotta take a little nap. Just a little, then. Looks like the new Tesla phone with sentry mode applies electric shocks when an unauthorized user touches it. I'd be zapped by my phone so much. Like... Oh my god, they have filled my tummy with so much yogurt. I must have been hungry. Holy moly. Don't be jealous, chat. Don't be jealous. <laughs> An alien smooched me a few minutes ago. What? I'm and I missed it. Yeah, free food is free food, even if it's fed to me while I'm asleep. I don't know, there's something kind of violating about that. And I just eat it? Like a, like a little free? I must be a heavy sleeper. I'm pretty sure if someone tried to feed me yogurt, I'd know about it. I'm so I've I've got I've got milk voice again. <laughs> yogurt voice. <laughs> I have yogurt voice it's coming back. I'm gonna start speaking like this. Yogurt feeding stream. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be at the next convention. Each chatter is gonna get a spoonful of yogurt, and you get to feed me like a zoo animal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> Everybody gets one spoonful. If she latches onto the spoon, you just let go of your end of the spoon and you back away slowly. Chad's so into this. You ever wanted to feed your Oshi yogurt? It's gonna be so experiential. <laughs> the yogurt endurance subathon. How much yogurt can this bad boy pack away? Probably a disturbing amount. The answer may it may surprise you. You wanna hear something? Uh maybe perhaps gross. Uh, yesterday I ate 30 chicken nuggets. I feel no remorse. The most fucked up part is I'm I was still hungry. But that's all I had. Okay, TR check. Let's check the transformers. Oh, uh, one and two both need to be pushed. SV dot target uh, underscore TR underscore one. We'll push that and then we'll push two. And where's Carver? Where is that lazy robot? The aliens are so active right now. They're going. They're still going. Eh. Um. How do I? Eh. How do I poster? Confounded contraption. Let's put it outside so that they can look at it as well. 30 nuggets is probably equal to your mass. What the heck? I gotta store fat for the winter. Dang, like a true hamster. Whoa! The aliens have anime posters! <laughs> Alien Miku? Oh my god. Who knew that the aliens were so based? My power is flashing. I definitely have to go. I have to go push the button. I have to go push the button before my power goes out. That's so funny. I didn't know that they had Miku in space. What? If that is the alien. The alien is Miku? What the heck? The cat girls. That's like um that's like a Pokemon. That's like a Pokemon transformed into a human girl. Freyrin! <laughs> is that freezing? Yo, I think that's freezing. Yeah, our bros from outer space do have some Fine taste, don't they? Katsune Giku? Uh... Katsune... Gleep... 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 Ooh. Gleep Glorp. Zmorp. Zormaglorp Gleep Glop. It's Freezer, no way. It does look like freezing. It does look like freezing doing the face. I've seen that meme everywhere. I have still yet to watch freezing. I will. Freerun's on the list. It is on the list. It's my next in line to watch. Because I heard it was so good. And I love high fantasy shit. Button. Pushed. Okay. And now we need to do TR2. I think it was. We'll find the near satellite. And we will set coordinates for the next Transformer. I love Freerun. It's great. It's got Chad's seal of approval. Glip Sune Bleep Blue. Erm, what the gleep? Erm, that just happened. What just happened, Shia? Um, that just happened.
nothing, literally nothing happened. Um, that just happened. I hate her too. Don't worry. show affection as a Canadian if I don't body check you into the snowbank I hate you you know I'm fond of you if I'm body checking you he's right behind me isn't he Gah! there's nothing behind me my friend used to drop kick me into the snowbank. Good times. Wait, drop kick? You Oh, how small you must be a little baby man if you're getting drop kick. Not even I'm that small. Chat says I have puntable energy, but they never they never specify drop kickable. Uh ba -ba 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 -ba. SV dot target TR two. Wow, height shaming. And if chat can do it to me and I I clap back, then Well, that's you reaping what you sowed. Her brain is delta fried. <laughs> my my brain's more of sigma fried. Hey Curver! You lazy sack of useless scrap. Get to work. Get Get to work! Kerfer's pa pathing is just so funny. Like, this thing takes the most inconvenient route on purpose. I wonder if we can make it down the stairs. Oh, it can! Kind of. You got this. <laughs> Kerfer's just a little guy. He's... something. Let's go push the button on that transformer before my power goes out. I like how Kerfer acted like he can't use the stairs just to get more attention. I know, I, I just- I hate how Kerfer acts like he can't do anything just to get more attention. And it works on you guys. Hmm. So great that the aliens leave these little treats around for me. Is there strawberry jam in the kitchen? Um, I was... I was going through a... Uh... What the gleep? Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, yeah, what? What? Mistake never run into the orb. The, the orb, it, it ran into me. My compass is reset. Look at that. My compass is weird. Is it? No, no, I'm weird. Sorry. I, I, is it? It looks. I, no, I'm wigging out. I'm the one wigging out. Chat, I was just abducted, okay? You can't, you can't bully me for this. I temporarily forgot how a compass works. <laughs> I did not kiss the orb. The orb ran into me. Wow, that was weird. Um, what do you think that has to do with alien cat girls? Now I am 
turned around. Balls. Okay. Helpful is always icy. I don't know which way. We should be following this thing. Is that back to base? That's back to base. Okay, we'll follow it this way then. Holy moly. Don't be jealous, chat. Because I'm getting some alien action. <laughs> yeah, the aliens would not try this in America. That is true. Do you think the aliens would know that everyone's packing a Thule? Maybe that's why they haven't... Like, that would be the last place that... If I were an alien, I would not want to land in the US of A. I would, like, walk up to someone, I'd go Gleep Glorp, and they would shoot me. Immediately. Oh, so him, hoi! Was that the Necovocation Orb? I don't feel any different. I don't feel more cat-like. Although I have been getting the urge to, like, lick myself and hork up hairballs. But no more than the usual amount. The other transformer was fine. I think those were the only two we needed to push. He already has cat ears. I don't have cat ears. I have adorable round rodential ears. You would want me to fall down and snap my neck, wouldn't you? Did the aliens get us pregnant? <gasps> oh no. What if they weren't feeding me yogurt at all? <laughs> That's why I've been finding so many alien eggs. What have I been the one uh, laying them? <laughs> Chat's just like, <laughs> what if the alien was actually latch? Yes. I okay. That's what I was thinking when I saw the alien poster. With the anime Miku on it, I was like, that kind of looks like a, like a, well, I did say it looked like a Pokemon turned person. But more specifically, it did kind of look a little like the manga version of Latias. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I didn't design it. It's the ears. Got here, don't know how I feel about the turn this stream has taken. Oh, yeah. I, I really enjoy that streamer, but, like, when she went through her alien pregnancy arc, it was a little... It was a little much. I have to agree. <laughs> but the alien mom arc, though, that, that went pretty hard. Stream's going downhill. That's, that's what my streaming career has been. It's been one tumble downhill. When big tumble downhill. But it, to be fair, it's a steep hill and I'm still rolling. Scenario. Aliens are real, but they are all Lollafels. How do you cope? I mean... That's just kind of rude if I were to judge them based on their size. Back to the theory from the first stream. What if you're the alien? What? Me? <laughs> You're crazy. Me, the alien? I understand Earth customs. I, I like to eat grass, as the Earthlings do. What happens if Kyogre bites a Slowbro tail? We get the world's most powerful Slowbro on this planet. The team-up would be insane. If 
you can't handle Chia at her alien pregnancy arc, you don't deserve her at her, um, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair, fair enough. Uh, something's different, but I can't place my finger on it. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Something is a little off, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> this is like seeing a mirrored picture of yourself. It's like, that's me, but also something is different. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder what's so strange about the base. It just... Uh, new hair, maybe? Did the base get a haircut? <laughs> Walk it off, it's gonna be fine. This is gonna take a little bit of getting used to now that I have the muscle memory for our base. Like, I, was, I wasn't I was even looking at where I was going most of the time. I was looking at chat. And now I'm just gonna be bumping into everything yet again. Okay, how do I undo this? I'm gonna have a hard time reading backwards. <laughs> chat, help! I'm in the mirror world! How do I get out? Help me! I'm in the mirror dimension. Curver! Curver! Oh, uh, no! I can't run out that way! I gotta go this way. Uh, what? <laughs> My door is, like... It's... <laughs> There we go. Uh... What? It sounded like something freaking exploded. Oh my god, I'm so turned around. Kerfus? Kerfus exploded? Oh! But I was just... I was just looking at him! What do you mean he exploded? Kerfus? Kerfus! Oh my god, never scare me like that again. You're coming- you're coming home. Holy moly. <laughs> hey boy, welcome, welcome. <laughs> that was like a horror movie. I look away for two seconds and Kerfus is gone. And I- I look back. And he's there, creeping around in the bushes. What was he doing there? Oh, look at this. Ooh, woo, woo. Is hanging so limply. I love the Kerbis upgrade. I've been told. Eh. Okay, you get to recharge a little bit. You're gonna make him puke. He's a cat, he's gonna puke anyway. My cat eats her crunchy bits too fast and she'll puke. Yeah, maybe Purpose is confused at the the mirror world. Do you think he's experiencing this as well? Who am I getting? Purpose doesn't experience anything. He's a dang robot. Robots don't have feelings. Save. All my buttons are like on the very side of the screen. You guys see that? My use button is like over there. Gaster... Bi... Bios... Uh... Um... I can't read that.
How is it? Uh, import it. Let's decrypt this. I said, I said, let's decrypt this. I said, there we go. <laughs> we didn't get here through a setting though. I wonder if there's a way back. Can we go back using the settings? Can I, can I like unmirror myself? It is discombobulating. Um, we gotta find another orb or something. Yeah, in the settings there should be a place to turn it off. Okay, we had our fun. Let's turn it off. I'd be under game. Game. You might have to turn on the silly settings. Chad just wants me to turn on the silly settings so bad. Alright, funny settings. <laughs> yeah, what if I invert it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's fair, Mitten. It's not the first or last game that will have an in-game entity make you go through a window to change it the set in the settings. You turned off the funny settings? No, I know, I turned it on. What did I do? I don't know what I did. Is that, that's on, right? That's on? I don't know, I'm, I'm now really confused. Not only am I turned around. Ugh. Settings. Game. I can only assume it's under game. Disable report finds. Disable info pop-ups. Disable achievement pop-ups. Pop -ups. Classic dish names. Yeah, it's on now. Okay. It's on now. Yeah, the funny setting is on. Type in Amogus on the council. Okay. Alright, fine. I'll entertain you guys. <sighs> Someone been eating yogurt behind here? <laughs> Video settings? Okay, let's try that. Video settings. Irma. What's panel FOV? Maybe I should have that cranked up. I'll just play a 90. Sorry, I play on that... Uh, I play on the Doom FOV so I don't blurt on the aliens when I meet them. That'd be so embarrassing. Yeah, I see it. Mirror mode off. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, sweet Gleep Glorp. We're so back. We're so back. Holy moly. Whoo! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
I can now function. Let's ping another signal. There's one right here. I hate those alien orbs now. I hate them! Too weak. Okay, but I, like, I kind of got used to it now. This is weird. I feel bad for the people that reset their saves because of that. The option only appears when it happens, I think. I feel bad for the people, aka what I would have done if chat didn't tell me. I feel bad for the people who would have just played regardless and went, Well, I'm doing things backwards now. <laughs> I guess, oops, I guess this is my life. I totally would have done that. If I had been playing this by myself and that happened, I would have just, I would have kept playing. I would have been like, yep. I don't read any, anyway. I don't, I don't read anyway. The game's such a mystery, truly. You need three signals of level three. I don't know if that's gonna happen today, Mr. Dr. Bow. Mr. Dr. Bow Bow. A mysterious game it is I don't care just gonna play it mirrored yeah that would be me. I don't care I'll play it mirrored I don't care I don't read anyway never learned how play quick on your PC and open a land server for the aliens to join you think the aliens like quake Oh, thank goodness. My buttons are back where they should be. We need some tunes here. Think I'll be able to hear this from the other room? Damn it. Well. Oh, there it was. Is there a radio? I need some alien tunes. I need to rock up to the alien campsite with the boombox. Go this way, and then we'll go this way. Steady. Steady as she goes. Oh! Just the hunger pains. They go away if you ignore them. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. That's what I need. That's what I need. Okay, we got we got some sushi left. Does sushi go bad? This has been in my pocket for like a week. <laughs> Yeah, sure is. There's not just a radio, but a TV that you can customize. Yeah, I typed in Maxwell, but it was backwards, and I didn't know what it was trying to say to me. Okay, it says Maxwell is currently active. Where... Where is he? Gotta find him, he's hiding. I found him! Oh no, that's just my stupid idiot curve. Maxwell? Maxwell? And order some dang gasoline! Ugh, you sound just like my mom! Fine, I'll order gasoline and I won't drink it all this time. Ooh. I don't think I ever looked through this door. Why do we have... Perfect. Don't we have work to do? Why do we have a... A freezer full of... Egg? And also, why don't they let me eat it? 
Yeah, I assume. Finding Maxwell and Lethal Company, if you play with mods, you probably have the Maxwell mod. Who's this tier? Very quiet. So we found the pig room. The meat room. How do I get in there? Maxwell? Oh, I don't think Maxwell is even... in the camp. In the camp? In the base? Keep wanting to call it camp. I do kind of feel like I'm camping a little bit. I think it's because of the solitude and loneliness. Yeah, Maxwell has been released. Okay, we'll have that process. That's still detecting. Any pinguses? Watch the radar while I drink my coffee. Maxwell is on the loose, I repeat. SCP Maxwell has left containment. There's a radio near Yankee, I think. There is a circular fence. <gasps> yeah, if I can get an if I can get a radio for free. Okay, I will order gasoline and we'll make the little trip to Yankee. We'll go uh Yankee Doodle went to town. Get a radio. One gas can. You can only only order one at a time. Lethal Company modded his peak gaming custom boombox, mod blasting, whatever song you wish. Ah, <sighs> yeah, it's so cool. I love listening to Dracula Flow for the ten hundred thousandth time. I love picking up uh, an item and then someone gets the phone and starts spamming, I got, I got lotion on my dick, I got, I got, I'm, hor I'm horny as that, that over and over and over and over and over and over again in my ear. It's so great. It's so... that's peak gaming. Croissant?! I forgot about this! Ah! Uh, uh, let's put this... Oh, it's gonna drop off my head. It's right there. Croissant! She's moving different. I've been Dracula flow free for quite a while now. I think I... Should be proud of that, really. Streamer, no one's gonna get that reference. If they play Lethal Company modded, they're gonna get the reference. If they don't play Lethal Company at all, or if they play it unmodded, they're not gonna get the reference, and they're smart enough to understand that that is the case, and that that's okay. Okay, but for real... So... This... This... This Miku is so cute. I don't need to see the price tag. I don't care if I go blind. I don't need to see the price tag. The worms are dewormed. <laughs> the worms have been dewormed. What does this mean? Is this like a sleeper agent code word you have said? One second. I thought alien cat girls had entered my room, it turns out it was just a regular cat. Space girl. As in my cat, who is a girl. Okay, we're going to Yankee. Let me set my coordinates for there. The brain rooms. I guess if your worm was big enough, you would need to get it dewormed. Uh, SV dot target Yankee. The worms are dewormed. Are they still worms? That's a good question. If I were to peel off your flesh, would you still be a human? We smoking dung beetle. I'm a dog and I'm chomping on fart bubbles in the bath. A roo roo roo. I'm only looking. Don't worry, you haven't missed any banana peels. 
Gotta reset the Dracula flow timer. It's been months. I'm allowed. I'm allowed a little bit of Dracula flow as a treat. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom, we're rich. We're rich, we're rich. Mushroom. Don't eat precious minerals, it will get you killed. I don't want more flow. You're gonna eat your flow and you're gonna like it. In this house, we eat Dracula flow. In this house, we eat the ops. We eat the ops for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Perhaps even a snack. If we're extra hungry. Fence! Oh, this one's broken. What the hell? That garbage? <laughs> That's just garbage. This fell down. Oh! Someone ripped a big hole in here. <gasps> I thought I'd need the hook, but... It's already open! Holy moly! <gasps> Thank you for the hydration. Before I go through my spoils, let me just take a swig. Eat the ops for brunch, too. We do. And a midnight snack. Gas! Ooh, we got a hammer. We got a wrench. We got... What's that? What are these? Rations! I'm gonna have to come back, there's so much here. <gasps> oh my god, we need all of this. Jazz masks? They make masks for jazz? Day 41, we finally got more financial support for our mission. You can get deeper this time, but today I noticed something interesting. The hole. Uh. Made one deep... Bassy sound. Gassy? Bass... Bassy sound... Bassy sound. Couldn't record it. And I don't know if it was naturally made, but it sounds like... It sounds like really deep metal squeak. This hole is pretty weird. This hole? Whoa! I'd go all the all the way down. That's a deep hole. Electric generator work in progress. Uh, uh, some sort of strange tool of some variety. Batteries. Batteries. Screwdriver. I, I put it on my face. Yeah, some sort of chest plate of some sort. Garbage, 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 garbage supplies I can break open. Cool. And a lantern so I can walk around like a, like a, like an old-timey Scrooge McDuck. I just need a nightcap. We need to go deeper into the hole. We need to go deeper. Red barrel means friendly, not explosive. You're right, red is friendly color. Oh! That tape has something on it. And I see a little hidden burger. Dive data. Level zero. I'll collect that and we'll play that later when we get back. We've got a saw, we've got so many tools here.
Burger? It's now a burgant because I ate it. I'll put this up here. Frick. Put the tools on the table. Put the tools on the table. You can come back for them later. Will I need them for anything? Do different tools work at breaking things down faster? Like, would a saw break down wood faster? Because, you know, wood has a weakness to saw-type weapons. How's the bullying? I mean, the hunt going. I got... I got transported to the mirror dimension, but other than that, it's been pretty tame. Ah, uh, yes, the tool typing. You know, hammer, it's got some skull-crushing type effectiveness. Meanwhile, saws are good against wood. Wrenches are good against mechanical. It's dusky. Oh, the misery. How do I feel this? Badge. Oh, they're badges. I thought they were electronic parts of some variety. Info. Doesn't say anything about them. Well, I'm gonna take this. It's getting a bit dark, isn't it? Touch the gas can to top off the lantern. Like with physics. Touch the gas can to the top. Oh. So, put gas can down, grab gas can, uh... Me fill lantern! Oh! It worked! That's so cool. That actually worked. All right, I think we got everything that we needed from there. That was the only way to fuel stuff until recently. <laughs> just hit it, just bash it against, bash the fuel tank against the piece of metal. It definitely will not explode in your face. this back I'm full axle nail hammer shovel badge badge can you spin whoa spin that was so cool okay what if I do this and I grab this, and then we just go back. There is a way to save a lot of space with smaller gas tanks. <laughs> or I could do it this way. It's gonna explode? No, no, it's... Only gas is explosive. Once the gas has been lit on fire, it no longer becomes volatile. My guy's too tired to run anyway. We'll go back and we'll sleep. We found a cool note. But there wasn't a radio, which is... Not sad. We'll find one. We'll find one. You really are an engineer. I really am good at problem solving. This much is true. She's a gas expert. I should know. I'm so gassy most of the time. The lantern is really useful if you decide to explore the cave biome at some point. Uh, about a uh, cave, cave biome like Minecraft. Yeah, trust me, trust me, I'm a gas expert. I'm gassy right now. 
the best way to do this. <laughs> Until we cross the river and I electrocute myself. Animal bones. Wait, what's that? Name tag, day 14. Is this thing infinite? I don't know, it keeps going... Is there an easier way to read this? Keeps going down and down and down and down and we have no, uh, but uh, uh, at least these yellow metal wheels have bridges on them so we don't have to climb on dry... Dry ass? They're climbing... They're climbing on what now? I don't know if it's supposed to be textured like that. I assume that maybe they just haven't textured that item. We are the mushroom biome. I love the mushroom biome. Have you seen the mushroom cows? They're so cute. I so dry you can't even climb on it. I think they were saying that it was so the ass was so dry that they could in fact climb on it because of the ridges. I think is what they were saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of a genius. This is why no VTuber company has hired me yet. It's because I'm too smart. Like, wouldn't you be a little disturbed if you were a scientist and you put a cheese in a maze and the rat just freaking solved it in 10 seconds? I'm the rat. Source engine sound effects will never not be funny. Oh yeah, it's, it's just comedy gold. I thought about eating that mushroom, but that one looks poisonous. Yeah, so, you are sort of, uh, right for the explosion, you really need a precise mixture of air and gas to be explosive. Exactly, I'm, I told you, I'm gassy, I'm an expert. I am a literal gas line inspector slash technician, that's so cool. <laughs> huh? What's this doing outside? Why is there a tape outside? What? You know what? My guy's too tired for this. I'm going inside and I'm going to take a nap. Just leave this. We'll just leave this here. I'll go take that nap. Like right now, like yesterday. Not enough space. Uh... You recorded Alien's waifu and she misses her a lot. Miku? Oh, okay, that was a close one. They're not going to pay you to do it? Why bother? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I like how we can see our poster from this screen. It gives me a lot of hope. Now I know what I'm working for. I know what I'm striving towards. Alien wives. Not just for me, but the whole of mankind. Saw someone jump in the river. It must have been a. You he heard a catfish. They can get pretty big around here. I've seen a catfish eat a duck before. They can get huge. That's probably what that splash was. I wouldn't worry about it, chat. Because the other option is the aliens are getting more comfortable with my presence, and I'm not sure I like the fact that they're going skinny dipping. While I'm watching.
I hate my fridge. <sighs> looks like, um... Looks like I'm putting the rations here. Put them in my room here. Not sure what we'll be using nails for, but we have them nonetheless. I'm also gonna drop the hammer to relieve some space. Empty bag, don't need that. Screwdriver, that's a cool tool. I'll keep everything else. Yeah, smug ass fridge. Making me eat rations off the floor. Oh my gosh, she's well rested. For once in the entire game, I am actually decently... Decently rested. I thought that was an alien spaceship. That's our telescope. Getting catfished by aliens on Tinder. I'm getting catfished by aliens IRL. Get on my level. In my opinion, all wives are quote-unquote alien? I don't know, that sounds like something an alien might say. Eh. Eh. Asteroid. Okay, that sounds like an asteroid. I got a couple of odd tapes. Two of them I found outside. Stow 8122. We'll process that. And then this one I also found outside. It's already processed two levels. This is object four. I don't know how it got outside. This seems like one of my tapes. Okay, we have this that can also process. Play it. Yeah, let me, let me, let me just process it first before I play it. Okay, fine. I'll play it now and then we'll process it and see if we get anything new out of it. What did I tell you? It's just a bunch of... Nothing. Chat, you're freaking out for no reason. There isn't anything on it. <laughs> Alien was ripping a fat vape. That's what that was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we're just trying to explain everything with the aliens hitting bongs and vapes and being gassy. Are you sure that that is... I don't think that explains everything. One, two, three. Speaking of alien cat girls, here's mine. Hi, Autumn. Hi, Autumn. She opens the door so politely and it swings back on her face and then she pushes it so gently open that it swings back again. Then she eventually gets in. It's out time. That was 100% a mango jewel pod. I could tell by the crackle. <laughs> okay. Alright. Autumn spotted. She's eating plastic. Autumn. Autumn. No. Oh, yeah. I yell at her to not eat the plastic, and then she walks up to me and goes, Brr. Not good for you, Autumn. Oh, that signal's so small. So true, Autumn, so true. 
Oh, we got it. Hello, Artem. She's so cute. I love her. She's a precious little kitty cat. It is a hard enough life, especially when your owner doesn't allow you to eat plastic. That's my struggle. Every day I struggle with my chronic plastic addiction. You're fine though, you're- you're a person. You're getting plenty of plastic in your system. Like, we're just full of microplastics at this point. We don't know how it's affecting us yet. But we know it can pass the lining of the womb to- from- from mother to child, so that's how small it's gotten, isn't that cool? Autumn, stop. I don't want to babysit you eating plastic while I'm looking for aliens. Mom's looking for aliens right now. <laughs> I grabbed her by, like, the trunk of her belly. And instead of lifting her up, I just walked her forward. And I walked her right out the door. And then I shut the door behind her. And I said, stay out. I can't tell if you're kidding. I'm I'm not joking, actually. That is real. So far it's been turning people into cat girls while they're on the internet. I mean, I'd just say that's a good thing, right? If microplastics made me the way I am, then I don't want to... I don't want to be any other way. I don't want to uneat those microplastics. I should eat more. Microplastic Andy. Yeah, all modern humans right now. As of right now. You're full and got it. Okay, there, there's been some... Um... That's quite a few blips, and they're pretty close by. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, oh. This is taking forever! Wait, what is on this tape? It just said object. Thank you for the hydration. Hold on, let me get the tape in the porthole and then... How's it going? I'm a, I'm scared right now. <laughs> All my tapes keep exploding. Uh. <laughs> Where'd where they all go? Why does that keep happening? What did you do to the aliens? I only stole their stuff. She is so clumsy. Oops, clumsy me. I accidentally exploded to drive again. I show up and everything explodes. That's the one coincidence here. <laughs> I'm hoy. Yeah, I, that was the second time that's happened. And now I'm scared that all of my drives might have been replaced by fakes. Hold on. I wonder if there's a way we could test them. I think just... Okay, that didn't explode. I think we're good on that one. Thank goodness. Ooh, that gave me a little bit of a startle. <laughs> Divi, thank you for capturing that jump scare. The alien sent nudes to Chia and she saved them onto the tape. Uh, that's not what happened. Don't listen to that chatter. I'm not looking at alien. Nudes on twitch.tv slash Captain Chia, where you can read and find the latest alien content. Can explode yet? Don't say that! It's not going to explode. Where did I put Kerfer? Kerfer! Kerfer! 
Kerfer. Maybe Kerfer's just outside. Kerfer must just be outside. He asked how boobies got onto the tape when I said they're booby trapped. <laughs> It wasn't me. If if you saw anything on those tapes, it wasn't me. And the fact that they're exploding isn't some sort of uh, tactic to get rid of the evidence. I don't know what you're talking about. These chatters are crazy. Clearly. Insane. Kerfer! Kerfer! Stuck on a ledge. Kerfer, buddy! Perfect. Oh. Let's check the camera. Kerfer's lame ass got stuck somewhere again. I bet. Hold on. Before we check the camera, let's check the server room. Kerfer, did you wedge yourself behind the server again? Well? Mmm. Burger? Kerfer. Kerfer's lame ass totally got stuck again. Uh, cameras? Uh oh. And Kerfer is out of power. What am I going to do with this robot? What am I going to do with it? This keeps happening. You know, this wouldn't happen if Kerfer had legs. Let's check... The... Let's, let's check our radar. That's got to be Kerfer. Kerfer is nearby. It's got to be that green blip just a little north. A little northwest. That's got to be him. Passed out in the bushes, probably. Stuck on some sort of piece of terrain. Uh, did the mannequin in the entrance leave his stand? There's just a pole with a metal base standing there now. Ah, <sighs> don't tell me more are following me. I see you, Manny. Unless you know where Kerfer is, I don't want to hear it. Kerfer. Huh? There's a splash down here. What the hell? Are they healing skinny dipping again? Ooh. You were the splash? That happened so long after I was already in the water. What do you mean I was the splash? There must have been some reverb on that. Some, uh... Splashback if you'd be so inclined. Why him hoy seven? Little snack. Little snacky wacky. These ones are not snacks though, they're not good. Learned that the hard way. I'm sorry, Jack. Kerfer didn't come home. I think Kerfer ran away. No, no, don't, don't cry, don't cry. We'll get you a new one. We'll go to the Kerfer store and we'll, we'll buy you a replacement. It can even be the same color. You won't be able to tell. They all have the same personality anyway. <sighs> Kerfer. 
Went to the farm. Went to the big robotics farm in the in the ventilation system. Oh yeah, I was gonna grab my hook, but I looked upstairs. Poisonous mushrooms are the spicy snacks. Wait, did I? I left Carver down here. I forgot. Activate. No. He's just passed out in the basement. Look at that. We don't even need to get you a replacement chat room. He's okay. Kerfer got sick, so we took him to the barn where he is very happy. But Kerfer got better, so Kerfer is back home. Yippee! You're so spoiled by Kerfer that you are fixing the servers. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't need to touch him anymore. Are you cosplaying for the annual alien convention? I'm hoping that the aliens will think that I'm one of them and let down their guard so that... It's been working! They've been skinny dipping in my presence. I think they do think I'm one of them. But I'm hoping next to uh, they let me on one of their ships. And let's just let ourselves go a little bit. Swing. Uh. I can get the momentum. I just have to loosen, loosen the rope. There we go. Huh. Uh. This is like playing worms. <laughs> I made it. Uh? Your mom lets you have two meat orbs. Hey, Manny, catch! You didn't. You didn't catch it. That's okay. <laughs> New meat blob just dropped, like, literally. Literally. Eh. It, it's... <laughs> it's just out of reach. There we go. Got it. Got it. Is this one as juicy as the other one? Hell yeah! Help me, I'm trapped in the trash can. Eh, eh. Hey, eh. Uppies. Uppies, please. Uppies. Oh! Can someone get me out? Thanks for nothing, Manny. You know, I'm keeping this meat orb for myself. Whee! Get your own goddamn meat orb, Kerfer. And careful. Nailed it. Are you done? Okay, let's check on our friends up at the camp. Because I think the tape we're waiting for to decrypt is going to take a while. It's special. It's a special tape. <laughs> if that ain't proof aliens are real, then I don't know what is. Yeedaw, as they say. Amigos, never ever buy shower gel containing mint. My orbs are in a state of ever frost. <laughs> Thank you for the ball update. 
noted. I will not. I will stop rubbing chapstick on my gonads. I just like the way it tingles. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a tummy full of more alien yogurt. Oh, my phone! Give me a little battery alert. I'm sorry. I forgot that you... You need juice to survive. There we go. Steal something from the aliens again? Chad's like, come on, we need some action. I need to see the aliens snap your neck. Uh, again! For the umpteenth time. Like, I'm surprised they, they're even putting up with my ass at this point. I've aggravated them so much. Like, that's all I do is be annoying. Our chanten! <laughs> do it for the vine! Oh! Um... Alien poster. Ooh. Ooh, they got they got weird feet. And there's knives. Collect. Can't be held, can't <laughs> As a sign of peace, I too will partake in the stabbing of this poster. I hope you will accept me as one of your own. What anime is this? I think it's called Gias. I like how it just doesn't even let me hold the knife. Ah. Great form on the stab, Chia. Thank you. Thank you. I knew someone here appreciates a good stab. Looks like Alien Store brand Darth Vader. It was it did kind of look like um evil dictator poster. Like if I was an evil dictator, I would not ever allow posters of me to look like that. I would want them to look like the alien cat girl one. Like I was a benevolent being. Because when you're you're a dictator, you don't want them to know that you, that's not the image you want to put out there, even if it's the truth. It's not good for PR. Thank you for paying your dice. Any any English man in chat? We got some Anglophones here, along with some people from the UK. Push button. Thank you for paying your tithe. Like the scouts do. Thank you for paying your tithe. 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 Rule over everyone with cat girl cuteness. Thank you for paying your tithe. Thank you for paying your tithe. Fair enough. Fair enough. You see, if I was an evil dictator, I'd do things differently around here. <laughs> Stop bonking me! Thank you for paying your tithe. I so, I, I'm starting to sound like a TikTok NPC streamer. Ice cream so good. For me? No spicy. Oh, she does it in like a, an evil voice. She goes like... No, it's spicy! Or something like that. Why am I holding a ball? Is that like an alien ball? I got my backpack. I got my make game really small button and also bring out the hammer. I didn't know that those were the same buttons. Was it this one? There we go. Okay. Is 
the evil ball. This ball is filled with evil. This ball is filled with evil deeds. I'm Captain Gia, and I thank you for paying your taxes. Yeah, it's, it's a tithe, not a tax. We're pirates, we do it differently. We don't pay taxes. Does she know? Don't tell her. What? What? Is there an alien bot? Clueless? What is it? Why is chat smiling? Is there an alien in the hallway? What are you guys- are you just trying to make me feel unnerved right now? It's not going to work. How does she not realize it? What? Realize what? There's nothing to realize. You guys are off the gloop. You've been chugging grog. Not a single clue. What? Now I get it. Haha, <laughs> me too. I get it. <laughs> uh, great joke, chat. That's so hilarious. I see. Yeah, me too. I'm surprised that you didn't see earlier. A anyway, um, video game that we're playing right now. Not exploding. Oh, wait, I think I saw it. Nice. Okay, frequency is up here somewhere. I like the wave. Woo, woo, woo. Having trouble pinpointing it. This is a user skill issue. There we go. Done. Yeah, when she was button mashing, she turned on reverb and took off her coat. It's cute that you think that that was an accident, not in fact on purpose. Wait, is, did I? Is it still on? Shoot! I thought I turned it back off. Sometimes I press the button to turn it on and it doesn't turn on, and sometimes I press the button to turn it off and it doesn't turn off. It's got a mind of its own, really. Yeah, we were about to break into karaoke and chat you had to ruin it. The stream was silly. Must, it must have been the aliens. Must have been the aliens. Damn, no karaoke tonight. I even had the the ebiest, gleebiest hits of uh, the Zimbabular galaxy just ready to go. And you guys ruined it. You ruined it. Can you sing that one that goes gleep glorp? Not anymore! Karaoke would be fun. It's been a while. Alien karaoke. I only know sea shanties. I'm pretty, um, pretty one trick when it comes to that sort of stuff. But at least it's thematic. Sad, so we stream. It's it's okay. Maybe another time we'll do alien karaoke. How many signals did you want? Be more efficient, blah blah blah. Two signals of level three. Let's send that right now. Open. 
One. And two. My ass is never checking the hashes ever again. Never, ever, ever. Just saying to see Shinji, but change all the words to Glebisms, nobody will be the wiser. Oh, the year was the 21st and a half century. <laughs> okay, hi, I have a bit of breathing room. <gasps> no longer shaking and crying, hope the aliens are being fun. They're being fun, they've, they've been going skinny dipping around me, but they're cloaked, so I haven't been able to see any alien bits, sadly. Glad to hear that work's coming down. My hungry ass could never be a signals decoder. My hungry ass would eat all the tapes. For sure, this is taking so long. Uh, any alien action happening? Oh. There is a little bit of alien action going on. I keep thinking the sushi is my digital map. A little bit of alien action going on at coordinates 193-156 near, um, I guess towards P. How do you even beat this game? Um, I guess you can set your own goals or when the aliens probe you. I no longer trust any tapes that come from the outside. There's so many scattered outside. I'm scared that they're explosives. Go forth, Chia. Get that helium booty. <gasps> Wait, do they have booty? Can we set your goals, Captain? <laughs> I'm scared, but yeah, sure, shoot. Go ahead. One, fifty, six. Should be around here. I think all the aliens have Hank Hill S. So, like, nothing. I was excited over nothing. 90% of the budget on shrimps. I haven't bought that many. told me to shoot officer I didn't mean to make Chia disappear that's so dark nah I'd win I could take a bullet there is an endless mode but right now I'm on story so I don't know what it when it ends I don't want chat to ever tell me crimp check hit <laughs> What if I just threw up my back there? I unshrimped and just exploded. I want you to find a way to jump from the radio tower and live. <laughs> I can do that. That's so easy. I will do that right after I take a little alien nap. I thought the captain was a shlumper. Why would she shrimp? She's lying to us. Well, you gotta shrimp to counteract the, sh the shlump. It's like you spin really fast one way in one direction in a circle. And then you get really dizzy so you spin the other way to counteract it. It's centrifugal force. Oh, so full of yogurt. Man, I'm making this sushi last forever. I wish actual sushi lasts forever. Usually when I'm done with it, it's it lasts maybe 10 minutes at most. It does not last very long around me, sadly. In the end, she becomes those plastic tube mascots that waggle around the wacky inflatable 
arm tube float man or whatever he's called. I found out the other day that I have scoliosis because it's fine. Too much spinning. You spend too much? I also found out pretty recently that I have minor scoliosis. I'd always had like a little place on my back. It had hurt my whole life. Just a little twinge. Like growing up, it just felt a little weird. Like under my left shoulder blade. It took a goddamn x-ray for them to go, Yeah, actually your, your spine's just curved out just a little bit. Imagine having a back brace as an adult. You can't though. Your spine's already set. Your bones are fused and hardened when you're an adult. It's hard to fix any sort of bonular issues when you're grown up. Without like... Have you... Do you know anything about jaw surgery? Thankfully I've been able to avoid it because of braces, but... If you wanna... If you wanna fix your bite, sometimes you gotta get your jaw completely obliterated. You gotta get it broken to be able to heal properly back into place. It's crazy. Bones are, are... Are crazy. I thought the telescope was a little man for a second. Yeah, it's fine for kids, but us old folk are done. We're so- we're so done, so it's so over for us. Go on without us. Take us out back. We're done. I'm too set in my ways. And I thought wisdom teeth were hell. Wisdom teeth were kind of fun in comparison. <laughs> At least I had a fun time getting my wisdom teeth up. It was pretty wild. Smug alien girl. Chat spotted the smug alien girl. Just need a strong woman to bend your spine into a better place. When Becco did that to me, my spine did feel better. My cousin had scoliosis so bad she had a full-on plastic corset. And once they fixed her with surgery, she got like 15 centimeters taller. Yeah, some people have it like really bad. Let's put the poster right here. Yeah, now I got the evil catman dictator staring at me while I work. That makes me feel so comfortable. Hello? That was definitely a knock. That was a very distinctual three knocks. How do they know the code? Did you tell them chat? Oh, I never got to keep my wisdom teeth when mine were removed. I should have asked. But like, teeth freaked me out, so I didn't want to keep them. The vents? You think it came from the vents? Huh, there's nothing close by. Curious. This is gonna be done during the night time. I don't want to watch this at night. <laughs> Emily, welcome, welcome. I saw the vent open. That one's always been open. This one. This one looks the same. Chat, you're just- you're being dramatic. Wait, yogurt on the floor? Oh, I did that one. That's my yogurt. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I put the- I dropped that one. That's my yogurt. Yeah, I'm still working on that one. No, don't touch it. It's my yogurt. Okay, we got an asteroid ready. Import. Eh. Import. There we go. Thank you for paying your tithe. Aliens wonder where the knife throwing target went. <laughs> Hope no aliens accidentally throw knives at my head because I'm standing in front of the knife target poster. I'd open up your vents, chat. Don't... Don't tell them that. They're gonna expect you to do it. What happened to Alan's family? Um... What happened to Alan's family is I fell down the hill and I broke my neck and my save happened just before Alan's family.
So Al and the alien is alone again. His in-laws haven't visited. They went home. They had to go back to their planets. They had to go back to their alien planets. The only thing going for your head would be a banana peel, obviously. <laughs> the aliens are gonna have to break in and throw another one at me. We are locked up tight. <laughs> so you're telling me if I get spine surgery, I can become taller? When's Becca gonna break my spine? She probably would if you asked. She definitely would. You probably don't even need to ask. You can just be like, hey, hello, good to see you again, and she'll do it, like, reflexively. All right, the special tape is done. Let's see what's on her. Haunted. Promoting straight into the mic. That, that's that was a mysterious. <laughs> that was a mysterious plane moan. Did they ever find out the culprit for the mysterious plane moaning? It had to be coming from inside the house. That's all I know. Those radios are like unhackable. Fuck! I turned up the volume too. Oh no! <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a fan of that one. This one here? Yeah. Yeah, Alan, why don't you hold on to this for me? Someone who's been through back surgery, I can confirm that you will gain a few inches in height. That is both... A little terrifying, because, like, bodies are scary in that way, but also... I'm glad that you got through the surgery safely. Backs are scary, though. Like, you could slip a disc, like a disc in your spine, and then you won't be able to stop coming. Like, that's real. Bodies are so insane. Like, you slip a disc, and you're like, now I can't stop spinning in circles. Jesus, it's it's real. It's real. A what now? A disc, like, like in your spine, if you fall wrong. You ever heard about that man? Yeah, scoliosis is a bitch. I'm glad that mine is minor. I get back pains, but nothing I can't handle right now. I'm still- I'm young, I'm sprightly. <laughs> I'm sure when I'm 60, I'm gonna be thinking otherwise, but for now, it's fine. It's manageable. Which disc do I need to snap? Are you sure you want that to happen? Everyone's like, oh yeah, that's so rad, high five, but like, think of the consequences. You wouldn't be able to do anything. You get nothing in life done. Why does she know this? Um, anyways. We got another disc coming. Yeah. Another drive coming. Let me ping a signal. Please break my spine, Captain. <laughs> that chat! His life was ruined! He was telling a story about how he was at... A family funeral, and he just could not, like, it's uncontrollable. Like, the saddest time in his life, at a family member's funeral, and he can't stop coming. That's so sad. That's debilitating. It's not rad. <laughs> you don't want that to happen to you. Take care of your spines. Don't fall down. Walk like a grandma. Who cares if you penguin shovel? You don't want to slip on ice. You don't want to slip a disc. It ain't worth it. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's a time and place for it. Exactly. Exactly. Even the rats with the cocaine button won't push it all the time if they have better options. Wow, yeah, that sounds terrible. Let me know which disc it was so I can not do that. Let me know which disc it was so I can avoid it. Anyways, I've planned a ski trip. Yeah, no, I don't think I'll wear a helmet this time. I actually am glad I don't know what everyone is going on about. It's for the best. Shh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just know that bodies are crazy. And wacky things can happen if you... If you fall funny. Just try not to fall down. Humans, evolutionary, we were like, yeah, we should stand upright, that sounds so cool. And then we gained a spine that allowed us to stand upright, and then also, if we slip a disc, we could, um... Have some, uh, terrible things happen to us that are debilitating and affect us for the rest of our lives. That's all. That, that's the takeaway. Not the coming part. Reminds me of a story about a guy that had a uh, had a family over for a funeral and a big Gundam collection in a room he locked. But one of his second cousins broke in and destroyed the room. Destroyed the Gundam collection? What did he have against little funny robots? What the heck? What did the robots do? Tia tells us not to fall but enjoys pro wrestling. Interesting. Curious. Curious indeed. I'm not too interested in listening to dwarf planets and exoplanets. Oh, what time is it? Ooh, midnight. The alien hour. Not paid enough for this? I don't pay the mods at all. <laughs> Alice. <laughs> yeah, the, you only have so many vertebrae. If you keep if you keep slipping your discs, eventually you're gonna find the right one, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I I destroying the little robots, that's that's vile, I agree. No reason for that. Where's Kerfer? I gotta wake Kerfer up. You gotta wait until 3 a.m. for it to happen? For what to happen? What are you... What do you know that I don't? What are you cooking? I'm saying... Yeah, we're normal and we can be trusted with um, upright spines. Yeah, will you become paralyzed for life, or will you never be able to stop coming? It's a little gamble when you slip a disc. Grim's the witching hour. You mean the alien hour? They're not witches, they're aliens. I do like gambling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told my mods that I'd pay them 18 months ago. That's why I asked for all their social securities. So I could put them on the payroll. They don't know. They don't know! Gonna wait for the alien hour. Alien witches, class, Leabody Glorp, and turn you into a frog. <laughs> What? What did I read? Double, double boil and, uh, gleeple. Fire burn and double blopple. <laughs> Don't 
don't use the toilet at 3.33 a.m. Suddenly I want to use the toilet at 3.33 a.m. Hold on, I'm taking the plug in with me to the bathroom. Skibidi toilet shows up at 3 a.m. not clickbait. You guys are just joking around. Skibidi toilet is not real and I'm gonna prove it to you. You ready? Okay. I heard that if you say Skibbity Toilet three times at 3 a.m. that the Skibbity is supposed to show up and jump scare you and eat your ass. Nah, she is done for. It's not real. It can't- it can't hurt you. What are you talking about? Dia does not realize that magic was actually glip glop splorkonit- splor- splorpon- all this time. Sorry, I'm still learning alien lingo. I'm trying to wrap my tongue around it. Ever realized how tiny that sink is until you put the clock on it? Maybe the sink is like a normal size and my clock is just really big. Is there a mirror in here? Oh, no mirror. She's getting dragged to the underworld. The skibbity toilet isn't real, chat. It can't hurt you, and I'm about to prove it. You know what they say about big clocks? What do they say about big clocks, chat room? <laughs> nice clock, bro. Thanks, bro. Yeah, it's... I didn't know that clocks could get so tiny when I saw mine next to yours. All right, skibbity toilet, skibbity toilet, skibbity toilet. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. It's 3 3:33 a.m. Oh shoot. Um I need to I need to Okay. I got some fuel. Yeah, I made some poo, I ate some more food. That's how this works. I'm pretty sure. Don't eat off the bathroom floor? No? Oh, oh, a lot worse has happened on this bathroom floor. I guarantee the meat eating off of it. Three second rule. Uh, 33 second rule. <laughs> Why is everyone freaking out about me eating an MRE off the bathroom floor when I've literally eaten it like every other location in this facility? I've eaten the MREs. I've eaten them in bed. I've eaten them under the bed. I've eaten them in the microwave, from the fridge, on the floor before, in every other floor, outside, in the alien camp, on the alien ship, in the river. I've, I've done it all. Okay, I'm ready. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I still don't believe you. <laughs> that's where you poo, that's what you think. I only go outside in nature. Nature woman. Did I call the drone? I- I'm so silly. I didn't even call the drone. <laughs> I thought the captain had standards. I've eaten on the poop deck before. Giving back to the planet very generous. It's all about what carbon you take out of it and what carbon you can put back into it. So silly. Yeah, I don't- what's in the water, chat? You're seeing skibbity toilets everywhere? You're acting a little silly right now. Let's take out the digital map. I might go after that blip. Digital map. That's like, right above... 
straight above Y at 6.05 minus 85. Okay. We must be eaten from the bathroom floor. What did chat mean by this? So, I'm not allowed to eat MREs from off the bathroom floor, but I can eat chatters? It's the cave, I think. Okay. Uh, cave is... Let me make sure I'm going in the right direction. Uh... This way. That way. Over the bridge. Okay. This way! I wish I could have my map while riding the ATV. Gatters are inherently stinky and nasty. The bathroom floor makes no difference. That's what I was thinking when I put the MRE down there. Please wash your hands before eating me. <laughs> Again, why would that even make a difference? Well, let me let me check to make sure we're going the right way. Yeah. I think we just gotta go a little bit more this way. I think the cave is over here. It's been a while since we last visited the cave. Oh shoot, I don't have any pumpkins. This way. Yeah. Kerfer, you're gonna scare away the aliens. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there might be one in there to yoink. This much is true. I, I do believe I left one in there last. I was... I was there. Oh yeah, here's the... Ah! Oh, hell no. Nope. No. No, I'm not chasing that thing. That thing was running through the woods like a dog! Okay, fine, I'll run it over. It's our chance. <laughs> what chance? It's my chance to get killed or something. I'm saving. It won't even let me save. That's horrifying. Where did it even go? <gasps> there it is. It's just running around like a wild dog. Where is it now? I think it went off in this direction. Kerfurt. You gotta get off my tail, man. Yeah, Kerfurt jump scare. I did get scared when I saw Kerfurt right behind me. That was a he was standing right behind me moment and then Kerfurt was there. Kerfer keeps scaring me. You and me both. You and me both. I'm about to throw Kerfer over the fence and be done with it. Okay, so he ran this way. Might actually just be an animal. Yeah, 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 sure, chat. Yeah, just a very long deer. Yeah, 
No way that thing looked like any sort of classical depiction of like a Wendigo. Holy moly. Can I? Can I stop chasing it? Can I go home? Yeah, I'm never chasing radar signals again. Yeah, we're going back. Curver. Curver, we're going home. We're going back. That being said, I could actually go visit the cave. Yeah, staying indoors forever now, but my curiosity has peaked. Or was the cave again? Was it? Oh my god! <laughs> Sick beat! Oh my goodness, he was jammed under there. She has two wolves inside here, one that will do anything to see an alien and one that refuses to see them. I, I got that dog in me and I, I got that dog with sense in me. Ah! <laughs> We're just ruining the goddamn moment. <laughs> big bugs around here. We got some real big- it's just running around trying to scare me. Where'd it go? If I get off this thing it's going to kill me. Are you chill now? Okay. Where is it? A hog? You think it was like a wild hog? Looked a little too tall to be a hog. Wow. Okay, that's just a mannequin. go. Must have found a server to fix. Thank goodness. Maybe it was Slender Man? Slender Man is just an urban myth chat. I think maybe it was a long crane fly that flew a little close to the camera. Hope you brought a big enough net. I didn't... I didn't bring any sort of net. Should I have? I have a hook. If it comes back, I'm gonna try to hook it. Maybe it'll drag me to something... ...cool. I know what it is. A squirrel? A large squirrel? Yeah, if we had a large butterfly net, that would make our lives easier. It was just a deer, don't worry. Yeah, it was- you're right. The shine of the headlights. Just, it makes everything look a little scarier. It makes everything look a little freakier. It was... I didn't know that they added wildlife to the game. I examined the clip, I can confirm it was a deer smile. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. It was just a deer. I was scared for nothing. Kerfer was making a lot of noise and that put me on edge. That's it. That's all that was happening. 
keep thinking the satellite red lights are something too. Yeah, me too. I keep thinking they're like eyeballs watching me. It was just Maxwell. We haven't heard Maxwell yet. But the aliens scream like that when they see you pull up. Shut up! <laughs> they don't. I'm not... When, when an alien sees me pull up, they don't scream in fear. They... Uh, You have some special deer up there in North America. Yeah, sometimes they stand up on their hind legs and they'll say your full name and address and you wonder how they even got those details. Seeing a woman covered in mud and yogurt carrying 900 pounds of ATV overhead and screaming about anime girls. Um... The cave is blocked off now. Eh. Aliens did this. <laughs> Aliens must have done this. They must have clogged up the dang cave. Did you buy the cave DLC? Oh no, I did not buy the cave DLC. <laughs> because this is a free game on itch.io. <laughs> you gotta get the separate DLC, but it's also free. It's just there to be inconvenient. Damn, you have to find a blue pin somewhere else to open it up, sadly. So the whole- the- the- the cave sphincter closes if I don't bring it an offering? I don't know. I kinda- pumpkins are expensive, and instead of giving it to a stupid alien, I could be eating it myself. Also, the deer look large enough around these parts, I'm not sure I want to give it any more food. Don't know what they've been eating, but I don't think it was just grass and leaves and bark. More alien eggs! Whoa, this one's blue. I've never seen a blue one before. Oh! I just touched that one and it exploded. Can't touch that one. Oh! They break so easily, they're so fragile. So I've learned about alien eggs, is the unfertilized ones shatter. Meanwhile, the fertilized ones explode. What was that? Yeah, cave is- uh, that's where creepers spawn anyway. Why would I... Why would I want to... <laughs> why would I want to go there? <laughs> Manny! Look at all the alien eggs I found. Yeah, he's just having some fun. Manny's a fun guy. Chat keeps telling me to buy a wood chipper and to toss Manny in, but Manny has become very quickly my best friend and I think my only friend. Here, on where, wherever I am. 
whatever facility this is. Why don't you push the button on the transformer while we're close by? Tow Manny with the ATV. Manny's got... Manny's really... Wait, Manny will make his way home. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Yeah, so, um... I do have two dogs inside of me. One that wants to see an alien so bad and another one that never wants to see that fear creature ever again. It's only just reinforced the fact that following the blips is not a good idea. Oh, it's this way. God, it, it got me good. I can't believe I screamed at a deer like that. It'd be even more embarrassing if it was just Kerfer. Like, there wasn't even anything there. Like, it was just Kerfer. Deer are kind of known to not do anything. Well, maybe bolt in front of your car. Do it. Bring the pumpkin. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll give it a... I'll give it a thought, and if the pumpkin doesn't look too tasty and I don't end up by eating it, maybe I'll bring it back here. Digital map, sushi. Okay, that, that power station was actually pretty good. For once, the anomaly wanted to see you. It did have, uh, it, it did have eyeballs that were looking right at me. It was kind of just running around, doing drive-bys. Maybe it was crop dusting me. If that thing farted on me, I'm gonna freak out. That definitely wasn't one of the aliens that is just camping, because those guys those guys are bipedal and normally cloaked and from the posters we found they might look like uh, hot cat women. And that was definitely not a hot cat woman, although maybe it could have been, maybe I've been judgmental and cat women just run around on all fours and skitter around in the woods at night looking horrifying like Wendigos. I'll have to ask one. Don't worry, it didn't crop dust you, but it did infect you with alien flu. Well, at least if I get sick, they'll evacuate me to a hospital. And I don't have to be here anymore. Oh, so cat women have to be beautiful. SMH! Yeah, I realized that I was being very judgmental. It takes all kinds of cat women. Let's be honest though, if the aliens weren't hot, wouldn't we all be a little disappointed? To be like, well, what were we even doing this for? Hey, Kerfer, buddy. Oh. Oh, now, now you don't want to bother me. Now that nothing scary is happening, you are fine being by yourself. <laughs> Kerfer only shows up when I'm scared. Nothing. All is at peace now. Yeah, bye, Curver. Have fun. Well, 
Okay, what signals did they want? Oh, is the radio tower down? Ooh. They want three level three signals, which I can definitely do. We'll put this one in a crate, because I think I have two ready to go. I might have just forgot to push the button. Pop that in there. Let's go, uh... Drones offline? Yeah, let's go to the top of the radio tower. I don't know, I think we're on like day 20, something like that. Every day we get more and more action. Don't fall off the tower again. Well, one of you was like, I bet you can't get down from the tower without dying. I bet I can. I bet I can jump off without dying. You'll see in a second. Do it. That's like, do it, do a flip. Shoot, I don't think this thing goes any longer. Huh. Huh. No, 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 no! Okay. Woo! That was a close one. That was a close one. Oh yeah, this is the only way to get down. Not at all inconvenient! Uh, no! Oh. oh my goodness. Any chatters when a Spider-Man kiss me right now? I'm just playing. Any aliens, though? Wow, that was close. I was only pretending to fall down. I did it. I fell in here. <laughs> eh. Yucky. <gasps> what? Wait! That legitimately is an alien egg. This isn't even a mushroom that I thought was an alien egg. This is a real egg. Oh my goodness. Mad cat girl, thank you for the raid. Welcome raiders. Welcome, welcome. Speaking of cat girls. How was your stream? Uh, those of you just coming in, I have a little egg deposited on my my doorstep. I'm not ready for parenthood. Who left this here? I'm not ready to be a mother of an alien. Yeah, I'm Hoi. How you doing, Raiders? I'm Captain Shia. We're playing Voices of the Void right now. Eat it. That would be rude, wouldn't it? Like, how would you like it? If you laid an egg on someone's doorstep and then they came outside and they ate your egg right in front of you, how would that make you feel? Not good, right? You'd be like, oh geez, I guess I'm never laying an egg for you again. I already microwaved and ate a mushroom. Wow. They actually trust me with an alien egg. What if it's from their alien chickens? We're creating like a whole fan in around these aliens. We haven't even seen an alien properly. We don't- they could lay eggs. This is a really large egg. This is... Bigger than a regular chicken egg, I'd say. I'd be honored. Yeah, I'm- I'm honored. Wait, you'd be honored if someone ate your egg? 
I'll never understand you, chat room. I'll never understand you. Can't deny a breakfast service like this. Okay, chat. All right. This lovely alien egg that probably a hot cat girl laid for me, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna fall up it in here, I suppose. Sorry, sorry, I wasn't expecting guests. <laughs> My kitchen is such a mess. <laughs> uh, please, please excuse it. I was trying to do a little cooking. No, 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 you literally asked for this, chat. How long do I put in an alien egg for? There we go. Longer. Longer than that. 60... 60 seconds. A whole minute? Yeah, a whole minute. I don't know if that's the light of the microwave or if it's glowing. Either way, it's beautiful. Spin! Oh, it's smoking. Does that mean it's going to hatch? We're not here to be understood, streamer. That's why we are here. That's why we're gathered here today. Spin! Gotta save some room for the alien egg. Can confirm, the cat girl was hot by the smoke. <laughs> this is confirmation. Literally. Um, uh-oh. Oh, it put itself out. Uh... You think I overdid it? You think I overdid the alien egg? Oops. Oh, the aliens are not gonna be happy with me. I think the aliens will nuke you now. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Okay, they're not going to know though. Anyway, Okay, it's okay. I actually saved knowing that this would happen. Knowing that I would probably mess up being an alien parent yet again. Yeah, it became a cool art piece. Ah. I'm just, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, clearly, you cannot trust me with children. You cannot trust me. Around infants. I'm a hamster. What did you expect? What did you expect? Can I buy a blanket? I know. Eh. Shoot. Okay. 
It's like a little nest. No! Keeps escaping. Can you send the egg with the tapes? The egg won't stay in the box, so I don't think I can send it with the tapes. Okay, this is like balancing an egg on a spoon. Careful. Careful. No! Freaking... Okay. I'm gonna take the alien nest to where I can watch it. I.e. right here. Yeah, I don't know why the eggs shatter into wood. That's just confirming that, in fact, the mushrooms are alien eggs. We need- we need game theory on this. I know Matt Pat is retired, but bring him out of retirement for this. Perfect. Okay. That's our three tapes. What if they have the reproductive tendency of a rabbit will have so many aliens? I mean, more aliens means more proof that they exist. It just makes sense. Holy moly. A real life alien egg. I can't- I can't believe it. I was on to something at the beginning of the stream. I was on to something. They actually made it real. They left it on my doorstep, but I wonder if I should bring it back... ...to their camp. I wonder if I should bring it back to them. I don't know if it's right for me to be keeping it. Oh! SP.target TR1 You know what? I can't keep this. I'm sorry, chat. I can't keep it. I know- I'm not its mama. Be messed up if I kept using it for sustenance. Taking bites out of it. Ew, she has morals. I'm a one bee spire. Of course I've got morals. We're returning it. Don't, don't try to change my mind. Stick it in the alien chest, I'll really appreciate it. I can't even open the alien chest. I'm gonna put it near the alien chest and then they can put it in there themselves. We'll get a refund, Captain. Just remember, well, I got this for free, so... Don't even bother. Wow. So beautiful though. I do just want to lick it like a gobstopper. Alright, aliens, I have your egg. I don't know why you left it on my doorstep, but I'm not ready. Gah? Um... Are those torches? And binoculars. They... Ah! They've been spying on me, haven't they? 
Let's put this right here. Oh. And what's what's this? The torchy thingy. <laughs> Looks like I got it like an alien ray gun. Pew 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 pew. Looks like a pressure washer. <laughs> it does. Maybe they've been cleaning something. Look, now the egg is next to the alien incubator. This this is where it belongs, chat. We have to let it go. Say goodbye to little um uh we never named this thing. You know what's for the best. If you name something, you get attached. Night vision. And now I can see Kerfer even better. <laughs> Look at him try to get up the ladder. Wow. Naming it Gerald. Say goodbye to Gerald. Plinko looking egg. Yeah, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? I don't think I can even use this pressure washer. I wonder what they're cleaning. <laughs> Curfer. Whoa! <laughs> this alien technology is strange, isn't it? You right click on the body of water, you should be able to suck it up. Oh. Okay. The physics going wild with the saline technology. Come on, Carper. Let's go find a body of water. We got the Fallout screen on. Seeing everything in Fallout. Could the NVG help you spot aliens? That's a good question. Will I be able to see them better? Oh no, I did notice that they were throwing knives into the well. In fact, I took the poster that they were throwing knives at. The alien catman dictator. Every other thing looks mint. Got the mint filter on, we're in the mint dimension. Ugh. Was that... All this alien egg talk has just made me so ravenous. Look! Ah, my croissant! My croissant! No! My croissant! It phased into the ground. I'll eat, um... I'll eat... Fungus instead. No, I can't eat that. Let's get on top of the hill. My croissant! Mmm, okay, there we go. That's better. The croissant just flew away. They all flew away. Well, aliens gotta eat too. Just like, uh, just like feeding birds. Pressure washer is the moment I realize that any time I think something in this game shouldn't work, it does. Yeah, every time I'm like, oh, this seems a little bit too advanced. Lo and behold. Lo and behold, it works. I know there's another pressure washer um, near Romeo in the fence. 
I don't know where I dropped the other one. I don't know if the alien took it back. I thought I fell down because I was hungry, but it could have been a combination of getting pushed down. Gas can, battery, name tag. How do I... How do I take this off my face? <laughs> It's hard to navigate in the mint dimension. The equipment tab in inventory. Name tag, screwdriver, hook. Um, I don't see it. Croissants are what the aliens are after. If I was an alien, I would be after a croissant. Oh, okay. There we go. Now I can ski again. Whistle. Let me go put this by my house so it's at least there. How long do you think for an alien egg to hatch? We should take a nap and we'll, we'll check on it later. Mm, I wonder if my bay back home is gonna send me some more baked goods. I still got the sushi she, she sent me. She's so good to me. Okay, that there, when I want to run out the door, I can put those on. But I'm not sure I want to be seeing any sort of deer, quote-unquote, in uh, high definition. Again, there you go. Cause I think I did see all that I needed to see of the deer. I think that was that was plenty. I don't need it to be uh, better defined. I don't need to see it in night vision. You ever catch a deer in the headlights at night? Like they do look like that. Cause their eyes are reflective. They catch the light just right, and deer are so long. They look all gangly. You really can just mistake them for a creature before, like, the rational part of your brain kicks in. You're like, that's a deer. That, in fact, is not some unholy beast. It is, in fact, explainable. What do you mean, quote, unquote? It was a literal deer, just slightly humanoid in appearance, but still a deer. Yeah, everybody knows that deer have been, like, Evolving to look slightly more humanoid so that they can blend into society more to get scraps to eat. Evolutionary tactic. It's quite brilliant, really. Error on that sensor. Okay, that's doing a rotato. I'll get this downloading, I'll take a nap, and I'll te I'll, I'll check on... What do we call him? George? Greg? Gregory? Our son Gregory? Our alien son? We'll have to talk to his mom, see if she's okay with calling him Gerald. Yeah, Gerald! What if it wasn't a deer and changed shape instantly? Now that would be- that would be crazy. Everything can be explained rationally. B. 
in. Oh. And spin. She forgot her own son's name? I mean... I didn't give birth to that egg. I didn't I didn't pop that one out, so my son, no. Don't think so. Some alien cat girl's son, perhaps. Alien chicken, maybe. Alien deer? Perhaps they lay eggs. We don't know. Oh yeah, explain why candle fire does not have a shadow. Huh? Huh? That's what I thought. Well, actually, um, candles are the fourth state of matter that they don't teach you about in school. Called plasma. And... Plasma. Wait. Oh, that's a mannequin. Of course it does not cast a shadow. Can hear stuff. I can definitely hear frequencies and electromagnetic wind. This data will be very helpful in our research. They really do just love listening to wind. Right, because they're a bunch of windbags themselves. Okay, you win this time. I do like how that's the excuse in high school. They're like, yeah, that's too complicated. You don't need to worry about that. So we, we're not going to bother even telling you that it exists. If you're lucky, your teacher might mention it. Wait, no, that's done already. I already processed those. Guess I'll wait for that signal to download and we'll... Go take a little nappy wappy. I'm gonna go sleep near where Gerald is. When he hatches, I wanna be there. If he hatches. I'm not sure about alien anatomy. They choose to tell you that in math everything isn't accurate, but you still have to append to its vague rules, but not that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do kind of just make it more confusing by not teaching it properly. The school system. Like, kids can handle a fourth state of matter. They can handle the fact that there's plasma. In fact, there's probably some kids out there that would really find plasma super cool to learn about. It's not gonna, like, make their little brains explode. Kids are smart. Their brains are, are, they're plastic. They can learn so much, unlike me. Whose brain is full, can no longer learn. Now that's the funny thing in Europe. They actually teach us stuff. Shame it's not like that everywhere, though. It'd be nice if... Throughout the world, it was more consolidated, at least when it came to mathematics and and science. More of a standard. Uh, I prefer to believe in less states of matter. Yeah, that's why I only believe in liquids. Solids and gases are just made up by the government. Where's... Gerald? Gerald! Did Gerald hatch when I wasn't looking? Gerald! That little scamp's gotta be around here somewhere. The pressure washers are gone too! Did they... Did they take Gerald somewhere? Turned into yogurt. No, th those were always there. I've been eating a lot of yogurt. Maybe they ate the egg? Well, that just makes sense. If humans laid eggs, you best believe we'd be making omelets out of them. Recycling states of matter and so on.
What? They didn't feed me any yogurt. Are they gone? Their ships are still here. Gerald was pretty tasty, Chad. Did you eat Gerald? Chad, was it actually you? You can tell me. I won't hurt you. Maybe you stole something? No, that was ages ago. And they got their recompense. They murdered me for it. A little drastic if you ask me. It's me, and I will do it again. Nobody lay eggs in front of this chatter. They will eat them. And that chatter, they ate our son. Not my son. That wasn't my son. That was a weird egg I found. I knew if we named it, we'd become attached. I wonder where the aliens are. We haven't had any alien action in a while. It's just been like spooky forest stuff. They took their pressure washers and they left. Process. Another exoplanet. Well, my guy's pretty rested. Any weird blips? Yeah, the aliens aren't active. Exoplanet. Now Chat's just thinking about eggs. Looks like he's gotta get some more sleep. Oh, they're looking a little bloodshot. I think he needs more eggs. More eggs or. Perhaps a little, um, a little... $50 pumpkin. How about that? God damn, pumpkins are expensive. Oh. The drive box, it still reminds me of Gerald. We'll drop those in. I can't look at that drive box anymore. Oh yeah, the scary thing. The weird one. I'm gonna send that to the scientists. Pumpkins in this economy? I know, I know. Ham hoy. In this economy? Who can even afford pumpkins? It's on its way. Driver badge. We need to take it away. Oh. Who dropped these? <laughs> Who dropped these burgers? 
Oh my goodness. Okay, let me just drop this other fake alien egg. Let me put the can, one of our cans of gases over here. That one's empty anyway. Oh my goodness. Pumpkins. They're heavy. A burger? A strange root of some sort? Tastes like carrot. Where'd this come from? Who's leaving burgers and strange roots? Weird. So many things happen in this game and I'm just like, weird. What else can I say? There's some strange goings-ons. Okay, towards Romeo, so that is over in that direction. Let's go take this pumpkin to the cave and hope that... Well, I'm starting to think that maybe chat's a little crazy. But aren't we all? No, Chia, I swear. Something happens, Chia, I swear. If you put a pumpkin here... Gotta trust me, bro. I trust chat as far as I can throw them, and I can say with certainty it's probably not that far. Oh wait, Romeo is where that deer was running around. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I try during the daytime. Maybe I don't go right now. Maybe I... Maybe I turn around? The only strange thing I see is this hamster with alien ears? No, oh, they're real, I swear. Crazy, I was crazy once. They locked me in a chamber with aliens. And the aliens... They may be crazy. skirts around Romeo. Romeo, Romeo. There it is. Only once. Curious. Getting sick of these mannequins rolling down hills. Maybe this isn't the cave. Man, this thing can Skyrim up cliffs. the cave. Alright. It's letting me back inside? That's okay. Um...
the pumpkin. Well, maybe they want a fresh one. This is where you should have left the egg. Oh, you think so? But why was it on my doorstep? I have, I have questions. Huh. You're right, I didn't even consider that this place had a, like an actual nest for an egg to go in. Maybe I should have. Oh no, is that neglectful parenting? Hey, back her up. Think that's far enough? Further? I am watching intently. Maybe. Maybe it only comes out if the cave is blocked off. Whatever it is, whatever it's supposed to be. Off the ATV to say feel good idea. It's getting a bit foggy. I don't think it's happening, whatever is supposed to happen. What if I just turned around and there was a deer right there? Why would the alien come out if you put the pumpkin inside the cave? Lure them out? <laughs> I'm told I have to put it in the nest. Curious. I don't know what it's trying to do with the pumpkin. Is the pumpkin its baby? Might be its baby. Maybe it's its food. I, I know certainly that it's my food. Why did the scary music start when you took the last pumpkin? Don't worry about it. Anyways, let's back up. I gotta go further. Further, drop it further, okay. I'm gonna walk up to the pumpkin and something's just gonna skewer me. Just Okay, we'll put this one here. I'll put this one here. Oh, it's, it's rolling. Stop rolling. 
Okay, pumpkin trail. Okay, that's a mannequin. <laughs> the mannequins are just falling all around me. Do I need to back up even more? I don't believe in the cave creature, neither do I at this point. I think it's just a spooky cave. I've come to the conclusion it is just a spooky cave and chat's just trying to scare me. That, that can be the only explanation. As long as the skibbity toilet is real, I won't lose hope. The skibbity toilet is less real than the cave monster. Not true. It's true. It's true. Alright, I'm putting this one here. He's real. Seeing is believing. Until I see you, I don't believe. Might be a daytime event or you stink. I think it's more likely that it's a daytime event. Because I showered today, so I shouldn't stink. Put it closer. <laughs> I keep just moving them. Keep fiddling. What if you put it in your inventory and drop it again? <laughs> We're trying everything within our powers. Okay, let's put it right here. Place. Chat, the only thing out here right now is the mannequins. And they are surrounding the pumpkin. Are you sure you didn't just think that the mannequins were in fact some sort of cavular beast of some sort? I'm starting to think that that is a very real possibility. I don't know, you burped a storm earlier? <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't necessarily equate smelliness. Sometimes you fart, it doesn't even smell. Sometimes you fart and it's the most pungent smell known to humanity. Yeah, I don't believe in the cave creature. The cave creature? We can cross that off the list of um, things that are fake. I mean real. Things that are real. Hmm. I'm taking my pumpkins, my $50 pumpkins, and I'm leaving.
What was that? Must have been the wind. Have fun in there, Manny. Someone farted. Someone, yeah, someone might have let out a toot. I think it was the mannequin chat. Definitely wasn't me. Fireflies remind me of the yellow flippity floppity orb. The thing that made everything backwards. Closer to the entrance. I don't think it's real. I, I don't think it's real. Believe Gia. Once again, seeing is believing. I've tried your pumpkin nonsense again and again, Chet. I tried putting it on the nest, I've tried balancing it on my head, I've done a spin, I've put it outside the cave, I put it further outside the cave, I've put it closer in the cave, I've put it again in the nest. We've done it all. Did you try saying please? I'm not going back there to say please. The monster had its chance. <laughs> please, 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 please come out of the cave. Please come out of the cave. Please, 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 please. You're sending me on a wild alien chase. <laughs> yeah, adios, cave beast. Smell you later. Actually, I won't because you don't exist and you're not real. The only thing you'll be smelling is my dust when I drive away. I want to check on our alien buddies though. They've been they've been so silent since the egg incident. Did I do something wrong? I want to see if they're okay. They haven't fed me yogurt in like three sleeps. That wasn't their NVG. It's my NVG. Also, when you steal their stuff, you know it. Oh, aliens! Like, I don't know if you've stolen their stuff before, but watch this. second now. Told my wife she should embrace her mistakes. She gave me a hug. Aww. Goals. There's no such thing as alien silly good bit. <laughs> yeah, just like the cave beast. There's no such thing as aliens. Maybe I had been hallucinating them. Oh, okay. They're not following me. Maybe they are gone. 
Maybe your mythical cave beast- Oh, my croissants. Maybe your mythical cave beast ate the aliens, chat. <laughs> so stupid. I'm definitely gonna see their shadows if they do chase after me in the dark. Is this it? Is this finally the getaway with the lantern? That was unnecessary. You could just you could take it back now. Where's my hook? Where did you... they just fling it off? They confiscate it like you're a bad little toddler. Okay, they are still around. I was getting scared that they left me. Probably in the bush. <laughs> You see my hook around here? Oh, in one of the bushes, in one of the numerous bushes. It's gone now. It, it just knocked me over the head with it and it threw it away somewhere. Right here? Over here? A souvenir! You know what? The aliens can have that one. I can buy another hook. They're not... They're like as expensive as pumpkins. That chat keeps telling me to buy. Logiki! Hemoi! How you doing? Are you in school? Did you have finals? I just got through mine. Oh no, my guy's too tired. He cannot run home. All that traipsing around with the lantern. Look at him out. Keep saying that, but we'll keep coming back to steal from you. Good, I want them to come back. Oh my god, water glows so ominously. Wait a second. Is it just that water that glows? What does that mean? Should I not have been drinking from that source of water? This is like putting on a. This is like taking out a black light. I'm gonna go into my bedroom and it's just gonna look like a Jackson Pollock. Oh, the lightning. Surprisingly clean. Would you look at that? Oh no, that water's glowing too. Okay, that's normal then. a little skibbity sleep over here. Uh... Sleeping with the MVGs so the haters never get you slipping. I'm, s I'm not even sleeping. What's happening? What is happening to my body? The fog is coming, you think? 
No, I think I was just... My, my tummy was a little hungry. I had to get some food in it before I was able to sleep. Can't go to bed on an empty stomach. It's hard to sleep. The fog is coming. Wow, there's so much intricacy to this game. She's trying to sleep her agent, Morse code us. Imagine Morse coding sauce instead of SOS. That would be so embarrassing. That'd be so zoomer. looking at this poster. Ah. I didn't have it on the auto process. Oh. Sir, the other ship is hailing us with sus. Sink them. Sink them. They're the imposter, sink them. They can come grab my junk. I love Bitcoin mining. Even though we don't have like an amazing Bitcoin mining setup, after time it really accumulates. Even on the first level. Oh. I must be off. Like an alien, I have to be... ...abducted. And return to my home planet temporarily until tomorrow. But thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun alien... ...around and, um, seeing a weird deer. That was... ...cool, I guess. The way it was running around and Kirker was trying to freak me out even further. That was sick. Uh, that time that I microwaved that alien egg until it charred, that was also cool. <laughs> Insane stream. We had a lot of weird things happen. Another exploding tape. <laughs> this game's always so fun to watch, right? I feel like everyone has a really different experience with this game as well. Just the way it unfolds. Like, some chatters are like, I've never seen that happen before. I can't wait until I'm completely done with it and I can watch someone else do a playthrough and go, What? I've never seen that before either. I just bought Chia Coin yesterday. It's gonna hit big one day. And it's gone. Oh, oh, ooh. Yeah. Everybody, everybody dumped their Chia Coin for, um,. For Gleep Corp coin. God, I was napping. Oh yeah, we'll keep napping. Why don't you- why don't you go take another one, hmm? How about that? Thank you for the string. Thank you for being here. We're gonna look for someone to raid. I will be back probably tomorrow. Because I'm taking next week off. And then I will be back after that. And then I will be in Europe and streams will become sporadic and probably at really weird times. But nonetheless, they will happen. The crew was able to help me out with that gaming laptop, and it can run everything so smoothly. No, I can't just sleep all day. Unless... Five days with Chia. Oh my god, yeah, it would be five days in a row. <laughs> I'm a stream machine. Some people can just stream forever. I gotta take breaks in between. I, I gotta have me time. Yeah, check out Twitter, check out Discord if you want to stay up to date and pick up the live notification rule to receive pings of when I go live. As things get more sporadic, it will be more useful and I don't think I can just stick to a schedule when I'm in Europe because I have no idea. I'm going to be working full time and then I'll be getting back from work and probably starting up the stream if I can. I don't know how consistent that will be. But Avi and I- Avi, speak of the devil! We did the time conversion, and it would be like 8 a.m. or something for, uh, Pacific Standard Time. 
Something like that? Or was it... Was it 8 a.m.? I don't remember. Wow, she's here. Speak of the devil. Okay, take care. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Before the aliens keep picking me and I get... And I get too curious and I have to go take a look. Take it easy, y'all. You too. It's around 8 or 11 a.m. Yeah, 8 Pacific or 11 Eastern, I think. Thank you, Captain. Thank you for being here. Good day. Take care of yourselves. Or I'm gonna come over there. I'm gonna take care of you. For you. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. For me? A flower? For me? A flower? <laughs> yeah, we saw some weird stuff. She ate the flower. How, How did you know? Some flowers look so tasty. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Lummy's play playing uh, Phasma. Let's go get some spooky vibes there. This is the void is so interesting. I might I end up by playing that tomorrow as well. I hope chat doesn't mind that this has become my fixation. It's just there's so much to unfold with it. It allows for such wonderful experiences. Yeah, it's easy watching and like interesting to play. Like an unintentionally really good stream game. I have friends that won't touch spooky games just because they will get a little too frightened to be able to play them, so they'll experience them through streamers. And this is right at that level where it's not only really fun to watch other people's experience, but if you want to play it, watching other people won't spoil it too much, depending on how far they are. Because new stuff and different stuff can happen, and that's really cool. Yes, the inconsistencies. It's like actual alien shit. <laughs> 